got you feeling too much It's feeling too much for you Then all my love is gonna dance with someone Someone that shows love not to If all my love has got you feeling too much It's feeling too much for you
Welcome to the stream, everyone. Happy to have you here. It is only slightly delayed. Uh, I'm only slightly late, chat, so thanks for the crash SFX. You guys didn't hear it because I forgot to put desktop audio on it quick as quickly as I started speaking. But uh, thank you, Wolfang. I'll, I'll play that quickly again just because I think I can. Uh, just so you guys don't miss out on the, the lovely The front line sound. of this war is not in the dungeon, but rather inside the mind. It is always inside the mind as we play some Backpack Hero. And there's the lovely crash sound effects that you got there, man. Thank you. Um, also, why do I have display capture on? Oh, there we go. That fixes that. Don't remember why I had that. Anyways. Good stuff, chat. Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you. It is good to see you all here. Kekis, Wolfang, Drazed this, Thapoth, uh, Itchy as well. Murph, good to see you. Long time. Long time for some more Backpack Hero, as we got Sing as well. Good to see you. And, uh, Gobbos. Yes, both Gobbos are here. And Night Angel. Better late than ever. Exactly. Exactly. That's the right way to look at it. Uh, but yes. So, the hockey game was lots of fun. What do you mean, long time? Long time since I gotta finish this backpack here. That's the trick. But yes, good to see you again, Murph. It feels like it's a long time, but I think you were here last week. But before that, it's been a long time. But it's always good to see you, man. Much appreciated. Uh, but the most important thing is, the game was over, and I had fun playing hockey, and I got another shutout, which was wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. We got our very first win of the season, so that got everybody in high spirits. So that is lovely, lovely stuff there. Uh, okay, so uh, for today, we are finishing up Backpack Hero and playing a bit of the maybe more difficult sides, because of course you guys want to see me die. And uh, I want to try out some new builds. We will be playing Robot today as well as a normal run. Are you winning, son? Are you winning, son? <laughs> Are you winning, son? Are you winning, son? Are you winning, son? Only a little bit. Wahoo. Only a little bit of winning. With a shutout of, I think we beat them like 2-0 or something. It was a good game. It was a good game. And uh, let's go with Robot to start with. And then we're going to play normal after we die with Robot. Uh, I think there's a few different ways we can play the game. Standard, we've been beating the game pretty easily. Well, not pretty easily, but easily enough. So what's the next level up other than Standard? Did I block any of the shots? Yes, I did. It wasn't like no shots on me. <laughs> it wasn't that easy of a game. It was still, like, there was a couple scary moments. I think there was one really scary moment where I was like, the puck was in the crease for a little bit too long, and I was like, uh, this isn't good. But other than that, I was on top of everything, which was good. Uh, Shoot Nara the Meme Master, welcome to the stream, man. Thank you for the follow, much appreciated. Uh, Snow playing Cell Swords and fighting champion Swordmaster in the arena. My best melee bro is a 5% chance to hit. My range bro won it. Could have won it with his 50% of the stuns. Damn. Draze this, welcome to Cell Swords. <laughs> Champions in the arena, that's not a fun thing for them to throw at you, and you can't even escape. You can't even say no to arenas, unless you save scum, but, you know, really depends. Uh, okay, so standard is no special settings. What's the hard one? Five to seven, glass cannon. Is there just, like, a hard mode? Oh, yeah, there it is, hard mode. Negative five to max health, 15% enemy health, minus one items, nine to five to luck. That seems like the right way to go. We never thought that says Drazen's yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, I think, yeah, we do we do hard mode with Robot, and hopefully I don't die, but then again, you guys would be keen on that. Okay, so hard mode with Robot, what do we... We gotta learn this. I need the horrible luck mod, yes. Yes, just have, like, no luck. That would be interesting. That would be interesting in... Oh, mode, the mode, yes, the horrible luck mode. That's hard mode, where's the suffering? I know, I know, but the suffering is I've got less health and enemies are harder to kill. So I think the reason why hard mode is hard is because of the, uh, the ramp up and the early game. So let's learn how this works. So we've got defensive grid is a shield. The heart shoots out a charge. Oh, and this thing conducts it. And then there's the free reset. Okay. So let's test this out, chat.
Oh! That costs nothing. Oh, wait, wait, chat, wait. Am I thinking there's meant to be a space? Why, why is it the bottom saying add zero block? Each place a charge is traveled before using this item give me one block. But why does it say it's you giving me zero? I'm very confused. Yeah, but if I turn the sword sideways, then I don't get to get the block. Do heart in the down corner, you said. So it travels further. Oh, I see what you mean. So it goes from corner to corner to corner. Okay, but that's still... It's still showing zero here. At the bottom of that. It says on use, add zero block. Is it not calculating it? Or is it just, I'm insane? Maybe I'm insane, chat. But I can see how uh, this going sideways is a double hit. That's really cool. I wasn't used to that, 221. But then it, the charge ends here and doesn't give me the shield. What if I do it like this? Then I get both attacks plus the defensive grid. I don't know. I gotta test it in a real battle. Yeah, that's true. So, I mean, that works. So let's go to a real battle. We're used to going to the crypt, so let's go to the bramble this time. Make it slightly different, chat. I'm used to the crypt. I'm used to all those enemies. Let's go to some different ones. These ones got, like, poison or something? What is that? Why does that just have purple on it, compared to non-purple? Uh, well, let's take the crow and the bandit. Oh, it's a crow bandit, not a crow and a bandit. You're hitting me for 13. Are you kidding me? What? I'm not gonna be able to block that. Oh, it does work. It does work, chat. It gives me four block because it went one, two, three, four. Can we have a snowballs redeem that randomly remove an item from the backpack? I know this is just the start, <laughs> but I feel that it's gonna be too easy for you later on, and we chat want to have some real fun. <laughs> I know, Itchy. I know you want to have some real fun, but uh, but uh, that's a little bit a little bit scary, my man. Okay, the seven, and then the seven, and the seven. So I do twenty-one damage per turn. I have horrible defense. Move it to the left corner to get more block. Yes! I could move it to the left corner to get more block, but I have to put the sword on its side so I do seven less damage, but I'd get two more block. And that doesn't seem like a really good trade. But with a level up... What? Oh, what if I do this? No? Why does it have red? Oh, that sucks! Well, that works. That works! Because then, if it goes really long, that'll give me more shield. I really want long straight lines, I think, with this build. Gotta get some Tetris pieces. I was not expecting to get given Tetris pieces. But I'm okay with this. I think that's the right move. Hello, lucky ring. I need to choose three things. Lizard blade is 2 to 16, so 2 times 7 is 14, so 16 is better. Adjacent items are pushed away. What? That's weird. Oh, tunic's really good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, tunic's good. So if I do this... I do this. I don't know if that's armor, that's a shield. Uh, and then I want Lucky Ring, and then I want... Yeah, I don't have any mana. Oh wait, I do have mana. That's so cool! I can actually do this entire set, except I have to do this. 
I can heal myself once per turn. Oh my goodness, this actually fits? I like this. I like this build. I mean, it's not an amazing build, but it works. Uh, random question mark. It's a glitch. Take a rare item for a curse. Sure. You're giving me lose 5 HP when adjacent items used minus 1 gold. I can do that because I have a, um... I have a, a regen now. Finish reorganizing. Now give me... Ah, uh, Wizard's Robe's pretty cool. But is it better than my tunic? I have an idea, chat. But it requires me to have horrible inventory problems. Dang it. What if I do this, this, this? Son of a biscuit, I screwed up. Hmm. Conductive means electricity runs through it. No, conductive means energy runs through it, like, like uh, the mana energy. Electricity from here uh, isn't conductive. It's a bit weird. I'm a robot. Can you? How can you go mage? I know. That's what I think. I'm trying to go mage. I know. I'm insane, chat, but it could work. How am I going to get this to work? Can I do... Can I do this? And that? Because then that's extra armor from the tunic. That's extra mana for the network, and that's continued. That adds so much extra mana. I have to give up on the sword? But I think I'm okay with that, because I'll find something later. I just hope... Wait, I need to test something. Yes! Okay, I panicked for a second. Because I was worried that this magic-y sort of stuff, this energy that comes from the core, wouldn't go through, like, these sort of objects. I thought it would get stuck on them. But it doesn't. Nice, nice, that actually works. Oh, I just have to work with this curse now. Uh, let's go and do a fight. And then come back, because I want to increase space or... Get rid of this curse. Yeah, and heal up, because the energy will... Yeah, that'll heal me up. Okay, so good. Let's go take a fight. Okay, bring it on, buddy. I will just... Do this. And now I have two regen. How much mana do I have now? Oh, it regens the mana every turn! Yeah, that's so good! And the armor gives me so much! <laughs> oh, I meant to use this! Wait! I forgot to use the curse. Wait, why can't I use the curse? On use, lose 5 HP. Hello? It's not letting me click the curse! Ah! I get a free reorganize one per turn anyways. Okay, you go there. What? Oh, I have to run electricity through it. What? It didn't run electricity through it. What? I don't like this. I don't know how to deal with curses. The electricity didn't go through it. Uh, I'm so confused. I can't run that off the side. I can run it off this side. Maybe I go here to try and make sure I have an extra armor piece. Or I could go here to make it even wider. 
And then I can have more magic. Yeah, maybe... Oh, it's either choice, chat. Because then I can shift my magic stuff under here. Or this gives me... Another wand space? No, it doesn't. Yeah, it kind of does. This just feels a bit more compact. It lets me... I think it lets me do a little bit more. I was 50-50 on that. Uh, that is a very cool wand. But I need more mana if I'm going to be using that. Needs to run an item that electricity goes through. Oh, yeah, that might be right. Okay, so I'll put the curse there, then. We'll take the shiv, because it does a little bit. Uh, that is weird that I can't use items when I want to use them. It only has to be through the, the electricity. Cleansing wand. Oh, I remember this. I might have to take that for my build. That is an item that might carry us, chat. And then on top of that, this is a really cool wand, but it's expensive. Hmm. I might take it just in case. I don't think I'll have the mana to use. It's two mana per hit. We'll have to see how it goes. Uh, next up, let's go and... Do we check the chest of valuables? Yeah, we have a decent amount of space. I can always give up on some stuff. What is this meant to be? Oh! Oh, it's free... Oh, purple stuff. Each time this direction is used, the direction is reversed. Use to switch open at any time. I think the switcher is the one I want. Because the switcher just works. Because watch what happens when I do this. No, it's, it's not going to do what I want. I think I need the switcher. Wait, how many can I take? I can't take more than one. Okay. That I'm okay with. But it's weird that they only give me five options, but two of them are different. Yeah, interesting. But let's do it like this. So that gets it a little bit longer. But more importantly, it allows me to make this weird circuit thing in the future. Uh, let's go and get the chest of valuables and the money, because I don't think I want to do a fight. Test it? You don't think it's going to work the way? Oh wait, I'll test it, I'll test it. Yeah, yeah, it works. Works exactly how I wanted it to. Perfect. I was worried it wouldn't, but the reason why it does is because I still have one charge until I hit the defensive grid. Uh, and I think I go chest of valuables here. Please tell me there's something good. What the heck is that? It just stacks? That is weird. There's an empty space above this. Creates a totem. I don't like that. That's useless. The helmet's nice. The breastplate is... Alright. No, that's a plate armor. That's interesting. Each turn adds 5 block. Each at 8's block. Is it better than the tunic? 5 plus 3 is 8. I think it is just better. Because that's 8 plus 2 is 10. But then it gives me a slow, which makes it then 9. So 8 plus 1 is 9. I think that's okay. But I don't think that slow stacks, because it's only one slow per turn. And then you lose the slow, and then you gain a slow. It, see, it doesn't stack, so if it's two of them, it would it would constantly stack. So I think that's slightly better. I'll be okay with this for now. Take a little bit of money. Uh, let's go figure out what the boss is. 
the giant chicken. Oh dear, that's annoying. I'll take this fight because I want to get some experience. Uh, who's the scary one? Oh, each turn you're adding. Comp yeah, you got darn block. Okay, let's um heal ourselves whilst we do a little bit of damage. Nice, we're resisting good. And yes, the slow only happens with the one. Oh, but slow affects it when I use my defensive grid. Oh, that's right. I'll eventually have to replace this plate armor with a better wizard armor or something. Other thing I need to get is better mana stones. That's important, chat. Okay, okay. Still 19 armor, like, each turn is is good. Nice! Okay, that wasn't too bad. Oh, hello! Oh, it destroys itself once you use it. Hmm. No, I don't like that. I do like the second wizard robes. I think it's really stupid, chat, but I could do double wizard robes like this. I, I could. I mean, it does ruin my block a bit, but it gives me so much mana every turn. That gives me four mana per turn once I have the space for it, because now I have a mana stone. Oh, this could get pretty crazy, chat. But I have no space! Oh god, we've only fought like three things, and I have no space. I need to get rid of the shiv, because it only does two damage. So I've got two mana, and I'm re regenerating four mana. Remember later that you can switch your setup in the fight? Yes, that is the really cool thing with the, uh, the microchip. It really helps you... you can use it once per combat. And it lets you reorganize your backpack in combat. Which is really good in case I need to just fix something or deal with like a curse or something. Uh, but for the moment, I think I'm going to keep the Dark Wand and the Cleansing Wand off the side. Because I'm playing defensive with my first wand. Yeah, I think that's the right way to go for now. Yeah, I don't have enough mana to do things. So I'll do it later. So let's try and be a bit risky. And hope that the next level's kind to us. That's one level down on hard mode. And I did take a bunch of damage, but I can heal myself, so that's nice. Oh, shop! 18 gold. Please tell me you have something good. That's a cursed blade. Unstable mana. No. Knight's armor is good. That would fit here really well, but I kind of want more wands. What's this? What? That's interesting. A splint. It heals you every time you use a weapon, but you're not allowed to have any armor because it makes your armor useless. That's weird. That's maybe good on aggressive builds? Huh. Aged shield's pretty good. But that's too expensive for me to hold in my inventory size-wise. How many more streams will I do of the Cell Swords run? Uh, not many. Not many. Oh, oh! I can upgrade a Mana Stone. Yes! Thank you. Oh, the frog is helping me. Or doing? We're doing a magic build chat. This magic build will work. Uh, let's go here into the chest. Conductive one... Oh, nope, I don't want that. Oh my goodness! Chat! The Necronomicon! Oh my goodness. Adds two mana to the network, adds four poison to all enemies when you use this. And it uses energy, not mana. No freaking way. We got a magic robot. That's so freaking good. Necro Robot. I was not expecting that, 
But I am so happy. Let's try out the Necro Robot. Oh, is this on all enemies? It poisons all enemies! Chat. Whoops, I just poisoned all the enemies. My bad. And oh no, they're hurting me, chat. I guess I'm just gonna have to keep regenning. And turn myself into a poison tank. Oh no, oh he stole my money. Fudge, I forgot about that dude. I couldn't kill him. Uh, do I skip the curse and take three damage? Uh, yes, because guess what? I regen seven per turn. So I don't care about curses, chat. I think we have a good build. I think we have a good build. After three runs, Snow finally realizes how OP magic builds are. I've always wanted to do the magic builds. But I didn't ever give myself a good opportunity or get a good conduction of items. Collection of items the way I wanted to see it. Yeah, I'll skip the curse. As I, I'm just healing 13 per turn! I'm healing 16 per turn. This is ridiculous. I love it. Nice. Okay, now what do I get? Uh, I think I go for... Can I do that? Because then I can put the heart here. The angle. I can put the Necronomicon next to it. The wand on this angle. I don't, I don't see this fitting anywhere in my build. So I think this L is better. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go with it. Only the weak break curses, the strong eat curses for breakfast. Yes, exactly, exactly. Uh, new items. Oh, we got more mana. More mana is exactly what we want. Uh, so put the Necronomicon here. Put more mana in. Mana, 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 mana. Uh, cleansing Wand is... Do I start putting that in my rotation? Because now I do... Oh, I forget out a problem. Hmm. I made a mistake, but it's not a big mistake. The mistake I made is, uh, the first one can be triggered twice on the same turn if I had it in that better setup. Hmm. Oh, I do love the double poison potion. That's going to be disgusting if I go to a boss fight. Streamer's not taking L's. No, not at the moment. I'm eating the L's. Okay, okay, let's think about this chat. What if I do this? This. But then it does reduce my defensive grid by a little bit. But it still lets me double regen. And then, one, two, three, four. That means I spend two, three... I can put cleansing into the lineup. I can't put the wand in because it's not good enough yet. And now I have two spaces. Good, that connects everything. Uh, I have two spaces to do what? Just take items, I guess. Yeah, that works. And then we test it. No, no, we're not testing it with the crash, Ambi. Sheesh, it works, it works, it doesn't crash. Yeehaw, welcome to the stream, man, good to see you. I think I'm okay with this inventory. Damn, this build's gonna be good. Oh, now we're doing a boss fight, a mini boss fight. Okay. Can we beat a mini boss? I have high hopes. I used up one, two, three mana that turn. I took a bit of damage, I'm gonna not lie, that was painful. But I am double regening with the cleanse. Oh, and I can choose who the cleanse hits. Oh, that's so good, I thought it was gonna be random. I thought it was gonna be random. Okay, now I'm at seven regen. He's gonna go through me and hurt me a little bit, but that's fine, I can heal it, I can heal it. I'm annoyed that the poison is not affecting this dude. He gets one dodge to an enemy each combat. But why is he not getting poisoned, chat? What did I do wrong? 
Is he immune? Oh, am I cleansing the poison? Oh, whoops. That's why he's not dying, chat. Okay, there we go. Uh, actually, wait. I forget that the cleansing actually helps them. I'm so used to, um, not needing to worry about that. Uh, but let's go for two and two. There we go. Now we're gonna be fine, chat. That's why I was wondering, why is he not having any poison? As I stopped helping the enemy. Can it run through the chip? Yeah, it should be able to run through the chip. I'm not going to use the chip. I'm just making it run through the dark one because I have two spare mana every turn that I'm just not using. I'm getting four mana per turn, and I'm spending four mana per turn, so I'm fine. And I'm getting my regen up to a really decent amount, so I'm good with this. He dies to poison. Uh, I take a little bit of damage, but then I heal 13. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's GG. Nice. Easy stuff, chat. Easy. And here I was worried about it. Yellow Rose, that's new. Agital spike for each rose in the thorns is called. <gasps> How have I never gotten this before? That's so good. I used to stack roses, and this would let me stack roses. Oh, another wand. Nice. Uh, switcher. I don't think I need it. Apprentice Staff is good. Mm, I've got no space for it, though. That's my problem, currently. I mean, I technically have three things I could give up. I could give up the potion do this, and put the staff in. Then that gives me 8 damage every single turn instead of using these things, which I probably won't use, to be honest. Knowing me, I'm just gonna hoard it. <laughs> so the apprentice staff, on top of everything, is pretty good. I'll switch your later when you have more on the left to go for more shield. Yeah, that's the thing. I, I was considering the switcher, but I don't know what i give up for it. And the only reason I'm considering a switcher is because... Staff mana use stack? Yeah, yeah, the staff stacks, but I only use it once per turn. So therefore, it's only going to cost zero. So I don't have to worry about it. it. It will stack its own mana cost. That's only if you use it multiple times in the same turn. No, it says plus one mana cost is combat. Oh, you're right, Ambi. Never mind, you're right, you're right. That's stupid. It's plus one this combat. I thought it was this turn. Oh, I read that wrong. Thanks for saving me there. Okay, so then I'm sad. Uh, then I can probably keep the switcher. Yeah. Hey, Snow, would you play Last Spell? It's awesome. Yes, I've seen Last Spell. I was keen on it. Uh, back when it... I actually was keen on it when it came out, or before it came out. It was a really cool looking game. Uh, I did play the demo by myself. Not on the stream. And uh, it was a really fun game. I did notice that it was a little bit limited, is probably the right word. But it finally just released. Oh, nice. Nice. Is that the right switcher I need? Yes. Switcher's the one I like. I don't like the other one. So switcher's the one where I can just flip it if I want to. Not the one that flips automatically, because that's annoying. So I'll keep the switcher later once I have more space in my inventory. So that's decent. And then I give up on the unstable mana because uh, I'm not going to use that. Discord notification now? Is that... Wait. Is it switching in the right directions? Oh, I'm not actually using it. No, I'm, I'm keeping it in storage. I know it looks like it's in the wrong spot. But I'm not actually using it just yet. <laughs> It might have lied, Gracias. It might have, but welcome. Uh, I need to kill this dude. Do, 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 do. Yes, 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 yes. This should kill him. And next turn he dies. Stop stealing my money. Yes, it all regens. This robot's cool, chat. This robot's really cool. 
and magic build for the win. I mean, you need one that goes from up to the right now. Oh, I can I can rotate it. Dre's this. I can rotate it. I'll show you. <laughs> it's all good. You can freely rotate anything you want in this game. Auto battle character. Yeah, this feels like an auto battle character for sure. Because I don't have to do anything. Everything just does it for me once I... Once you set it up right, it feels like auto-battling. Uh, for each connected mana stone, one damage. On you, steals one damage. So this one wants me to have a lot of mana stones. These are just dark ones, which is what I already have. Sapphire is plus one damage. I don't want any of these things. I might consider the metallic wand. But... This does 15 damage. This will do 5. Even if you use it twice, that's 10. This seems like more of a late game weapon. Because you need a lot of mana for that to work. I don't like any of this. Except maybe the Sapphire. So then I can get rid of a Poison Potion and put a sapphire in, and then I get plus one more damage, and then I'm okay with that. Yeah, that's probably all I can do there. Uh, I'm not fighting the boss just yet, and I'm not getting that loot just yet, because I want to get an experience to level up, get more space, and then I can take more loot. Hopefully. Uh, you're giving me a curse? Ha! Ah, I don't even care. You think you're going to actually hurt me with a curse, buddy? Oh, actually, one burn to self isn't that bad. And it's only cost... Yeah, you know what? I'll take it. Yeah, actually, I'll take a curse for once. Weird. Can I play Last Spell on Saturdays? Yeah, Saturdays is where I play different games. So Saturdays will be where I play things like Last Spell, Kenshi. Um, we're playing King, uh, King of the Castle next week. So yeah, we're playing all sorts of fun stuff on Saturday whilst we keep to Battle Brothers whenever it's not a Saturday. <laughs> and if I ever get a fourth day of streaming, which I, I'm... I gotta work around scheduling first. I know, I've always tried to get into a fourth day of streaming, but it's hard to work around all of that. But uh, if it does happen, I might make it a second, like, extra game streaming instead of just a third day of Battle Brothers. Uh, oh, yes! Please tell me I can do it. No! Why can't it go further? That means I need to take this one. So I go further down, further across, and then I can fill that up with more mana stones. Weirdly enough, this seems like the right play. Do it left for the circle? Yeah, but then it cuts it off here. That's the problem. It screws me over there. The curse is gone? Yes! Uh, because I put the curse on something that was in the path of the lightning that was coming across from my heart, it used up the curse and it gave me one burn, and one burn doesn't hurt. I can't flip this, I can only rotate it. I can't actually flip it so it goes with the L the other way. And it cuts off down here as well. I can do this, if that's what you're thinking. That's not a bad idea. And then it would go in a big circle where this is on the bottom corner. Okay, I, I see what you're saying, Drace. This is not a bad idea. I still want this to go a bit further, so I do want something over here next time. But this might actually feel better because... I can put anything I want over here next time. Okay, yeah, good thinking. Good thinking, Drace. This. Hey, Yanchi, welcome to the stream, and hey, Bridge, welcome as well. But I do like this idea, because that means I can now move this to there. I can move this to there so it double stacks. Oh, that's a bit risky, though. Is that enough mana? Am I, am I playing too risky, chat? I think I am. Because that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and I have two, three, four, five. I don't have enough mana. I can get more mana later. It's fine. Uh, we're not doing crossbows. We're not using double battery. We're not doing knights. 
Old Knight's armor is really good, though. Okay, wait a minute, chat. Wait a minute. Hear me out. Knight's armor gives me so much block. Holy crap. Yeah, the shiv's cool. I'm not saying no to the shiv in terms of how cool it is. Wait, this is conductive. Why is it not connecting? Oh, because the sapphire is not connected. Oh, I screwed up. No, I screwed up. Uh, how do I do this? The sapphire is screwing me because it's... What if I do this? That's conductive, that's conductive, that's not... There we go! Oh, but then I can't use it on the weapon. <laughs> Maybe I can. Wait. No. What did I do wrong? That sucks. Okay, that's fine. I'll I'll live with it. I know what I'm doing wrong, and I, I'm missing, like, one space. I know I should get rid of the sapphire. I know. But I've got nothing better to do except maybe the shiv. My problem is the sapphire floats. And the Electric Stone can get me a bit of damage out of the Shiv for plus three, so... Maybe the Shiv's worth it. I know, I know. Maybe the Shiv's worth it. How am I doing? I'm doing pretty good, Bridge. Not doing too bad at all. Maybe add the big wand. Yeah, the big wand would be cool. But I do like this dark wand. I'll keep the cleanse. Oh, no, the cleanse isn't meant to be there. Son of a biscuit. Yeah, you're right, the cleanse wasn't meant to be there. Oh, I screwed up. Oh, I screwed up somehow. Shivers. There we go. That kind of works. For the time being. Oh, I don't like this. I screwed up because I need something in here that's conductive. And none of this is conductive. Except the reason why... Here, well, hear me out. You're right with Malcontent, is is what I did wrong was I put the cleansing rod in the line because it was conductive, not because I wanted to use it. So I, that was a mistake. Yeah, it's a bit screwed up. <laughs> yeah, because I want to keep the poison going. Unless, wait, wait, chat, wait, what if I do this, this, now it's all connected, I just have to put the wizard rope in the way, which is weird, but it works. There we go. I can move the wands, yes, but the uh, the reason why I don't want to move the wands too much is because I want to keep them on the diagonal so they get used twice. This one's not going to get used twice yet, because I don't have mana to use it twice, but it'll use it once. I've got the shield at the end of the link, which is exactly where I want it to be. And now that the wizard robes... See, see my problem is conductivity. I've got a lot of conductivity, but I was missing out on one square. So the wizard robe going to the top line actually fixes my problems. Holy crap, that was a bit of a mind screw-over, wasn't it? And I still get the shiv to get the most damage. Everything's connected for the gems. Everything's connected for the mana. Oh, just barely, chat. No! No, I still have a, I still have a problem. No, I still have a problem. The shiv doesn't connect. Because this mana from here... Oh, no, no, this is conductive. But this isn't conductive, so that means this mana isn't connected to this system. So the shiv has to go here, but then I can't use the shiv. Do 
I'll figure it out, but the shift have to sit out for a little bit. I have it for later, but dang it. Always test after you do the robot thing. Yeah. So there, my test my test works, but the shiv would have screwed up because oh, thanks Gobbo. The shiv would have screwed up because the two mana from here plus the one would have gone one two, and then it wouldn't have triggered the dark wand. I could do it like this, but then I can't regen the man every single turn. So no, I can't. I can't. So this will work. Conductive, 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 conductive. The shiv doesn't work. The shiv first? Oh, that's not a bad idea. Before the book. Oh, yeah, Ambi, that's not a bad idea. Because I still only need all the magic to be stuck together, but if the shiv's at the beginning... Yeah, the chip I can just leave down here. I don't care about the chip. The chip can just sit there. But yeah, what's in the backpack today? We're going as a magic necromancer robot. So, you know, just your usual day-to-day -day looting snowman. That's all you need. Uh, your house looks like a hat. Are you going to give me anything good, lady? Uh, the ethereal blade's pretty badass. Uh, I don't know what that does. Ninja costume. Each turn adds a dodge. Well, that's pretty insane. On use adds one poison to self. Weapons in this row get three poison this combat. Uh, glove. Do I want the glove? Uh, I don't. I don't know. I don't like the ninja costume. I don't like any of these. I think I just go left side so I don't get cursed. I, I don't like them all. Oh wait, that's a cheat! What? It's out of bounds! What? What was that? It was out of bounds and then just jumps in bounds. This Plinko is so bugged for this game. And then it didn't even give it to me. Oh no, here it is. That, that was weird. <laughs> hey, all right, welcome to the stream, man. That was, that was weird. I don't know what to do with this hand axe. I don't have any space for it, so I'm just gonna leave it. Screw that. I would love to sell it, but, eh. Two block to a shield, one haste to a shield, energy to a clothing, rage to a melee weapon. I don't want any of those. I know energy to a clothing is usually really good, but I don't have the money. And I'm built around mana. I don't need energy. So that's weird. Take over item for a curse. Sure. Oh, it's the stuff. Mm, I don't like any of these. Oh, I'll skip the curse. I... I don't have space to sell this crap. Eh, it's just not worth it. It was... it was... yeah, it was worth a... Tr worth a risk. Let's go for a fight. Makes you think it's a cheat, then it destroys your hopes and dreams. Clever dev. Yeah, the clever devs. Wow, that's a lot of damage they're gonna shoot at me. Holy freaking crap. Thank goodness I have good armor. Damn, these guys have got so much damage. Okay, that's 28 defense. That should hold me for a little bit. Yes! It barely did any damage to me whilst I'm healing up. Oh, this build is good so far, chat. It's beautiful! Look at this! Uh, I'm gonna take some damage, but I heal it back up anyways. I'm back to full health. Ha 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 ha! It's glorious, chat. He dies to poison, and we win with an easy fight. It's a nice build. All I need is just more mana, and I'm set. 
And then maybe some fancier wands. Like, I mean, the dark wand isn't super overpowered, but it's nice. Have I tried Slay the Spire? Oh yeah, I've got a, I've played Slay the Spire before multiple times. Just not on stream. It's a good game. Uh, my first one, again and again. No, it's fine. Another Shiv, but I don't have space for it. <gasps> Another mana! Uh, gotta give up on the luck ring. Sorry, I need the mana. I'm so sorry. Wizard robes are being good to me. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, wait, no, wait. I might need the luck ring. Wait, hear me out, chat. I'm only regenning four mana per turn whilst I'm spending like six. I need more wizard robes. So maybe I give up on the single mana stone because I want doubles. I want the better versions. So I just don't grab anything. It's weird. I want better stuff. The shiv is still kept. No, I can't do more shivs. I don't have space. I can't. Oh, what's this? What? I just want to... No, I don't want an amplifier. Redirects charge back as a reverser. Oh, oh, that's good. I think it's something like a circuit. Yeah, yeah, it feels like a circuit. Uh, I think the repeater sucks. Because that doesn't seem like it's going to help me at all. But I do like the Reverser because that means it goes exactly back the way it came, and therefore I can trigger the Necronomicon twice. I don't have any mana. No, but it's about triggering the Necronomicon twice. It's not about the mana. I just also don't have space. <laughs> Chat, why do I suffer with space? I know what I can do, though. I can do this, 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 and this. It reduces my defense by, like, a teeny-weensy bit. But it also lets me... Oh, it can let me double defense! Never mind, it doesn't reduce my defense. Because it redirects the charge back through the defense. Oh, but it can only use once of time. No, 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 once per turn, never mind. It's still reducing my defense a little bit. But it lets me redo, redo a Necronomicon, so it double triggers. <gasps> and it adds mana back to the network. Chat, I'm insane, and I forgot that the Necronomicon gives me two mana. So two plus two plus two is six. So I do have enough mana. I just have no space. It's always space. Hey, Epo, welcome to the stream, man. Uh, yeah, I'm okay with this. Let's test this. <laughs> yes, yes! Double Shiv as well, chat. Double Shiv, double Necronomicon. So much mana. Oh, this is good. And I don't want any of these. Come on, boss. Beat me up. Let me see the double. One Necro. Two Necro. Oh, but you can't double Shiv. No, you can't double Shiv. But I can double Necronomicon, so... Yep. I'm okay with this. I need to find another Necronomicon shot. Look at that! They're dead! On turn two! Well, I mean, the Rat King constantly spawns more rats, but technically dead on turn two. And then now the Rat King dies again, and then he dies again because he has so much poison! Oh, too easy, chat. I love this. It's so beautiful. Never, I never thought I'd enjoy the robot. I thought it'd be a bit tricky. But this is actually really cool. And look at the animations, too. He's just throwing the book in the air. Just casually throwing a Necronomicon around. Whilst he's healing with the regen. I've got plus 19 health per turn. I can't be stopped. 
Uh, the ring is conductive, adds four block, with using a single mana. That's pretty cool. But I, I have literally no space. I, I can't take any of these. Throwing the book is the best use of the book. Yeah, exactly. Apparently, the way you use a Necronomicon is you just chuck it at your enemies, chat. Uh, I'll double check the forge again. I don't think I want any of these. Because I have a shield. Plus two block to the shield. I don't think it's worth it. I'll save my money to buff the wands. And I'll double check this shop, because I don't think there's anything here. Hubris? Yeah, I know. Overconfidence will get me, chat. It will always get me. Yeah, there's nothing in here that I want. Yeah, okay, well, I'm just gonna have to go to the next level and hope there's something good down there. Because I know I'm using pretty basic equipment, but it's doing well, so... If it works. The Bramble Final. Oh, it's the boss. Never mind, I can't get anything other than just the boss. Okay, don't kill me, boss, please. Six damage. Oh, I can live with that. Oh, no! He's gonna rage. I do have the Cleansing Wand if needed, chat. I do have it. It's gonna screw over the poison. If his damage gets too much, I will cleanse. I'll have to do it. Can I put Necro at the end to get more mana back using the ward two times? Um... I mean, it already is doubling Necro dependent. It doesn't even need to be at the end. It's already filling up all my mana, so I don't have to worry about putting it at the end. It's okay at the front. But I think what you're trying to think is add extra for the wand. Hmm, maybe. I could try it, but I'm I'm don't have enough space to use the wand twice without putting the shield in a bad spot. Also, you're dealing 11 damage to me, so I don't really care. I don't need to cleanse him yet. Yeah, 25 armor. That's fine. Seven plus eight is 15. I'm just gonna kill him before his rage gets too high. Yeah. Yeah, that'll work. You have full mana, go one, then from two, Necro turn. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. So the Necro will be full mana, then use the Necro to fill it up again, and then come back to use the wands again. But my problem is, I need more space. <laughs> so, I love your ideas, chat. Because this will keep adding two mana to the network every time it gets used. And here's the space I've been looking for. There we go. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that's nice. I'd rather have it, like, down here. Like, that would be really nice. But this could be good. Yeah, that's gonna give me a beautiful circuit. But now, chat, I have an idea. All weapons removed. Minus one from all status effects from enemies. Nope, that's really bad. All bows. Nope. And then on death heal to 30. These are all bad! But I guess I have to take the gem. Uh, okay, I have an idea. What if I do this? This. This. Fudge. I was so close. So close to greatness, chat. Oh, and I screwed up. Because the conduction. Conduct, conduct, conduct. I need more. I need more corners. I don't need this crap, I need corners. Anyways, I'll take that. Uh, I also get a brand new large mana stone, so that's good. Now what do I do? It's probably the best I can do for the moment. Necro at the end, but then that does ruin my defensive a little bit, but I'll live with it. Oh, 
Why is that not connected? Right, that's what I was looking for. Okay. Everything's now connected. The shiv is fine over here, but it's not connected. So can I put it here? Yes, there we go. So the shiv's connected here. Wait. Chat. Chat, I may have solved my issues. That is nice! That actually works! The shield is at its maximum distance. The necro is at the back. I can double cast the wand, double cast the wand. And the shiv's still connected to the bonus damage. Yeah, I like this. We gotta test this out. Also, we gotta check the loot. Wait. There's another reverser? Oh, wait, never mind. I like the wizard cap. I mean, the fact that there's a second reverser... That's pretty disgusting. I don't know how I could abuse that. I need, a, I need like, a split. But I need the wizard cap. to the Himalayas! Snowcon? <laughs> no, 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 don't worry. It's lemon. It's lemon indeed. Must also thanks to the reset with Prime for two months, man. Much appreciated. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Um, but yes, I would love to be able to use the reverser a second time, and it's hard to do a big brain moment. But the wizard cap's amazing, so I'm happily gonna take that. That's that's big. Now, welcome to our healing center. What do I want? Max health. Yeah. Let's go with max health. Uh, where am I going? Uh, position identifies subroutine parameters, hoarder loot, deep cave, enchanted swamp. I mean, let's go swamp. Can I not use the auto swap catch the energy between the two reverser? I don't think so. Because I don't think I don't think you can automatically just go reverse charge into charge into charge into charge. I don't think it'll let you do that. But the switch thing could work. But I, I don't know. I think there's a way of like splitting the charge. I mean, I still think the the wizard cap was a great choice. So I think I'm okay with the choices that we did for now. What are we buying weapons along the die, and I'll get plus three damage. Ooh. We also know the necro book. Yes, the spamming of the necro book. Yes, of course I would. Of course I would put it between if I could spam it. Remove poison from yourself. No, don't care about that. The red pearl's tempting. But I'm not here for damage per se. I'm here for stacking magical things. I don't really like many of these. Okay. Uh, let's hope that... This fight will be good. Go, go, gadget! Double necromancer! Well, that worked. Go, go, gadget, double necromancer again! Yay! <laughs> it's too good chat. I mean, it takes a long time to do the turn because it's using up the mana, using up the mana, the necro makes mana, and then it uses up the mana again, but then it makes mana, but then it uses mana. I don't care. It's great. What the hell is a ray gun? That's a specific weapon for the robot. For each space the charge has traveled before using this item, plus one damage on you. So the ray gun's the exact same thing as the shield, except it's for damage. Repeater? I don't care about the repeater. I see a two mana right here, so I'm definitely taking that. Uh, I'll keep the one mana. Uh, ray gun sounds really cool, but I don't have space for it to put in here, so I think I can do... this, and the ray gun costs literally nothing. 
So that's really awesome. And if I have this to move, like, one space back, I would put the ray gun next to the defensive grid at the start because it goes back. Can only be used one time each turn. No, it acts like the shield where you can only use it once per turn. So once it triggers on the first tile, it'll t do, like, one damage. I know, it sucks, so I can't abuse the double ping back. I'm sad. But I'll save it up for when I get a nice spot over here that I can push the reverser in a different way. So I think I should hold on to the ray gun. Yeah, I think that's the right choice. Giving up on the one mana I think is also the right choice. Because the bonus damage from electric stone is worth it. And everything else is worth keeping. Yeah. Uh, we get the free experience. We then get attacked by the boss, the mini boss. And then we just win. Oh my goodness, we killed the thief before he had his turn. Oh my goodness, we're doing four shots of the dark one every single turn, chat. Uh, I'll also skip the curse because I'm just going to heal this back up. This is ridiculous, this build. I'm using the Dark One four times per turn. I I just won in two turns. It was a mini-boss! I won in two turns. That's ridiculous. I found a rotator. Chat. Chat, what the hell is this? This makes it even more overpowered! This is even better than the normal reverser we have! I just upgraded our reverser to give us four mana per turn. What?! I'm making four plus four. That's eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16 mana per turn. I can't even hold all my mana. I can't hold all this mana, chat. What is going on? Also, I kind of want to do this. And put, like, the this here. But then that kind of makes the ray gun kind of useless at the moment. And also makes me destroy the gem of mana, which I could sell for a decent price. So I don't know if this rotator is worth it. I mean, it's cool to make this even longer, but yeah, this is pretty disgusting, chat. Remove it because it's too easy for me. No, 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 chat. If I find a good build, you can't take it away from me. It's not fair. I'm allowed good builds. I'm allowed to find out good things. Damn. And this is on hard mode, too. Sheesh. Okay, what's the forge got for me? Burn to weapon slow, block to an armor, haste to a shield. Uh, I think block to armor is not bad. It's only eight gold, and I have wizard robes, which I really want to just add extra block to. And they're rare, so they have like two slots. I think I should probably check the shop first. See if there's anything I want to spend my money on. Oh, I already checked the shop. Never mind. Um. Yes, yeah, screw it. Let's just go block to armor then. <gasps> I forgot the helmet counts. Let's go with wizard robes first. Because I don't have that much money. Can't be forged further. Eight block per turn. Eight block per turn. Uh, do I put it on the cap? Now, hear me out. Will I get a better upgrade? Let's go with one, and then I run out of money. So, how much block per turn am I getting now? Eight plus eight is sixteen. Plus four is twenty. Twenty-two. Oh my god. That's pretty good, chat. Also, show me what's in the box. 
another reverser. Hmm. I don't think... I mean, I like these switchers. And I'm liking these reversers. I just can't do anything with them, I don't think. I do want to test one thing, chat. One thing. Will this do what I think it does? What? Why does it not go past the Necronomicon again? <gasps> oh, I figured out the problem, chat. Oh, I, I didn't do a stupid, but I did something that's not good. I'm out of energy. Okay, I know what I need to do. I need to put the Necronomicon at the front. I can't double proc the Necronomicon anymore. Because I don't have enough energy. Oh, that sucks. Because the Mana Reverser costs an energy. So for the temporary time being... Yeah, testing's important. Testing's important. Because I forgot about the wizard cap removing an energy. I forgot about that. It's it's helpful. I love the wizard cap. But it removes an energy. Per turn. The mana reverser is kind of a little bit better than the wizard cap. I'm going to be honest. I could give up on the wizard cap. But I don't want to because I want more energy. I want more mana, I mean. So it's one, two, three, four... Plus four, plus these two. I might give up on the wizard cap. That's what I'm thinking. I just... I like it. It's weird to give up on a legendary item. Oh, wait. What? What did I do wrong? What? One, two... Oh, okay, so this does have to be up here. Wait. Do I have to give up on the shiv? Yeah, I have to give up on the shiv. Unless I put it over here. Then that's fine. Yeah, I almost had to give up on the shiv. But I have to put the Necronomicon at the front, which is annoying, but I have to do it. I have to give up on the Wizard Cap. That sucks. But I can sell it, so I guess that makes up for it. Yeah, 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 I know, he saved the ship. It's looking interesting in Duriel, it definitely is. Welcome to the stream, man. Uh, I, a wizard robot that uses a Necronomicon. I finally got this to work. Without it screwing me over. Uh, the locked chest is fine. Test of two reverse work. Oh, oh, yeah, I know what you were saying. Oh, buy a book. Yes, I will buy a book. Oh, I don't eat gold. Uh, I want to buy the book. Okay, okay, that's good. Oh my goodness, it killed him in one turn! That's insane. I also have 22 armor per turn. And I'm regenning. <laughs> He's gonna die! He's dead! Avada Kedavra! Exactly! He just, he just evaporated, chat. This build is disgusting. I, I don't understand it. But I will try and buy a book. Please give me another Necronomicon. Please. Please, Scholar of Magic. <laughs> Chat! 
You've gotta be kidding me. You've gotta be kidding me. It's a second Necronomicon. <laughs> <laughs> Ask and you shall receive. Oh, I don't have enough energy to use it though. But I will keep it. For when I get a little bit more energy. Oh my freaking goodness. Is this live or is it scripted? It's totally scripted. Holy crap, chat. Uh, I, I want to keep the ray gun because that's just like free damage. So I keep the ray gun. Do I give up on the uh, gem? How do I use this necro chat? I don't think I can use it. Uh, because it costs one mana to go this way. The mana reverser. Okay, maybe I give up on the mana reverser and go back to a normal reverser. Yeah, that's weird. I'm gonna have to do it. But I have to hold on to the necronomicon until I can get there, because this thing's actually slightly. Re Is the railgun conductive? No, it's not. Sadly, it's not. Uh, but this thing has to be switched out eventually, I think. Which makes me sad. Yeah, Shiv's gotta go bye-bye. Because then I can uh, sell this. And also the Ray Gun now does a lot of damage instead of the Shiv. Yep, Shiv's gotta go, because the Ray Gun's just better. Anything but the Shiv. I know, but the ship doesn't fit anywhere. I can't do it. I'm running out of space. The ship has to be left behind. I know, sad days. Sad days. Gavo can give some money <laughs> instead of want to keep the ship. But look, the ray gun will actually do damage. Look at this, look at this. Go, ray gun, go! Damn, the ray gun did good there. Nice. I know, rip shiv, rip indeed. Okay, the, you healed your friend, I don't care, he's gonna die. If Snow dies, he does a shiv build? Sure, sure. If I die, I just try and do a shiv build. Oh, he's trying to flee. Okay, well, I didn't kill him in time. Ooh, I got a man upgrade, let's go. Boohoo Buckler is on take damage, you add block, nope. There's a normal reverser. Okay, I've got to give up on this reverser. Oh, fudge. How do I fit the book in? So that's one, two, three books. That's so dumb. And I love it. But the mana reverser's got to go because it's not doing damage for me. It's just giving me mana. And I already have tons of mana. Test it, yeah. And then ends at that book, which is fine. I can just shift the book over here, which doesn't really do anything. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty good. I'm okay with this. Armor to the left gets plus two block, on use gets five block. Um, adjacent gives plus two. So that's plus four, where this would give plus... Just two. Yeah, that's useless then. It's worth selling, but I, I have no inventory space for selling. The selling things I'm selling are these two. That's it. That's that's all I've got space for selling. Uh, I like this. This is a pretty good build shot. Let's go. Uh, exclamation mark shows me the boss. It's the frog mage, which is fine. Does this chest have anything I needed in it? No, it was locked. That's right. I don't have anything to buy it. Uh, yeah, so triple ne Necronomicon. If we get a third Necronomicon, I'm gonna get going insane. But two Necros is pretty good. Okay, big dudes, tr try and beat me. Try. You're doing 12 damage and 11 damage. That doesn't even barely get through my base armor. As I triple Necro, you guys. Whilst the Ray Gun still does damage. Oh, the frog died immediately. And I'm already healing for... Four. Yep, double Necronomicon. Ray Gun, he's already dead. Triple Necronomicon, they're at 23 poison. The Rat King just dies. And this guy just dies. It's over. 
Avada Kedavra forever. Whilst I just heal a regen of like plus 10. It's so stupid. Is this like Slay the Spire plus inventory management? Yes. Yes. That's how is the easiest way to explain it. Slay the Spire plus inventory management. Uh, whilst Snow complains that he never has enough space for all the loot. That's pretty much it. Because I never have gone enough space. Today. Gobo remember any good stab with Shiv. The raids. The loot. The stabs. Now Shiv gone forever. R.I.P. Magnificent Stabby Boy. R.I.P. indeed, Gavo. Thanks for the 100 bits, man. Unfortunate day. Uh, I'm gonna put this here. So I can maybe Even do... Even my untethered imagination dares not conceive of what effect the years spent submerged in toxic sludge may have had on her heteromorphic flesh. Nope, I think I... No, I didn't screw up. No, I didn't screw up, chat. But yes, the heteromorphic flesh ain't looking so good. Uh, but let's go with another dark wand. Oh my goodness, that'll be disgusting if that works. Oh, how do I do this more? How do I abuse the game more, chat? I think that's the best I can do. This does give a charge, but it gets destroyed. Uh, that's not what I want. I think this works. Yeah, I think this works. Chat, hear me out. This this works because... Well, that's not a shiv, that's a damage knife. <laughs> but this works because I use up mana, then I make mana, then I use up mana, and then I make mana. That's kind of disgusting to use another dark wand. Uh, another Dark Wand? No, I can't fit that into the build. But now there's a book. Oh, that's the same thing as a Necronomicon, except it's weaker. It would be funny if we got those instead of the Necros. That's useless. That's completely useless to me. But I can sell it. If I ever get to a store. Oh, hello. Welcome to my insane damage. You're gonna die immediately. Yep. And then the charge goes back, and he's on one health. <laughs> place the heart two places above to get another corner. Oh, like here, so it goes down and across? Uh, yes, but also no, because... Simple folk are by their nature loquacious, and the denizens of the hamlet were no exception. It was not long before rumors of my morbid genius and secretive excavations began to fuel local legend. In the face of my increasingly egregious flaunting of public taboos, <laughs> all turned to ire, and demonstrations were held in the town square. Demonstrations indeed. But uh, I do like your idea, it just won't let me get another wand stuck in there because of the diagonal. It won't let me do another double wand. Because I couldn't go like this. It'd have to be like a single wand if I went from there. I mean, it wouldn't be bad, but it's just I'm running out of space. So I think I want to fit another bunch of mana stones because I am I need more mana stones. But also maybe like an armor piece could fit here. Uh, that's sort of what I'm thinking. But also just more space. But at this point, this build is like complete. There's no way I lose. If you kill them with the dark wands, you can lose on HP regen. Or am I mistaken? Or is it a round effect you kill them? Uh, no, I kill them either end round, beginning round, or, yeah, there's multiple ways I kill them, Blood Mess. Because the Dark Wand is immediate. Uh, I also regen myself, and I also do the poison damage from Necronomicon, so, yeah. That's, that's it. That's basically everything that I can do. Uh, hello, Mr. Conductive to an Armor. Ooh... Energy to a clothing. Oh, chat. Oh, chat, I need to do energy. I never thought I'd need energy so badly. I need energy so bad. Where's the shop? Somebody show me the shop. I need energy so badly, because then I can do a double Necronomicon. Oh. If I win, the regen doesn't proc. Yes, that's true. If I win too quickly, I don't heal myself. 
So I need to make sure I don't win too quickly if I'm lower on HP than I'd like to be. So that's just a little bit of micro on my part, but for the most part, this is just an easy fight. Like here, I won too quickly and I'm now minus three health, but I'll live with it. Oh, I love the Fire Staff. But the Fire Staff's so weak compared to the build that I have. It's a legendary weapon. And it's weak. This build is too good. There's no way I can trigger this multiple times unless I do a certain setup. So yeah, the enemies are dying too quickly. Uh, please tell me there's a merchant. Please tell me there's a merchant up here. I'm gonna be so pissed if this, this level doesn't have a merchant for me. Oh my goodness. Can I do 92 damage with one more reset? No. Oh, I almost won in one round. But I win now. No way I lose. Take note, chat says duct tape. I know, I know. I'm gonna jinx it. Oh, hello. Amethyst Buckler. That is a shiv. But I can't use it. Yeah. I know I saw the shiv. Oh, there's the seller. Let's go. Sell, sell. Goodbye, wizard cap. Goodbye, gem. Oh, it's only worth 17. What the hell is this? The Venom Sword. Oh, I know what that is. Things useless. Cutting board I love. Um, yeah, let's sell the... I don't think I'm going to die, chat. Am I? Am I? It was only 40, so I have enough now. That is true, Enduriel. It is true. I sell the tome because I know that's 100% useless. How much... I've got two upgrades on that one. But if I sell enough, well, hear me out, hear me out. If I get 80 gold, I can upgrade the knight's armor twice. That's a little bit greedy, of course, chat. But 17 plus 9 is 28, and that's 12 off of... And with all these fights, I think I can be greedy. I'm going to be greedy as heck, chat. I'm going to do it. And there's also money here if I need to collect it. Uh, so let's go to the forge. And be greedy. One energy to clothing. There we go. There we go. I didn't think for a mage build I'd be going energy, but here we are. And it's surprisingly gonna work. Say a prayer for max HP. Take a bath to heal or kick it over and start a battle. Uh... I mean, I'm assuming there's a rare weapon that you do if you fight the froggy mushrooms. I don't really need three max HP. Let's kick it. It's frogs! Bye, frogs. That's th four uses of Necronomicons. Have fun. No, it's only next turn. Should have four energy, right? Wait. Does adding energy to the armor not increase the charge energy? Are you kidding me? Did I waste 40 gold? Because it doesn't help with this build? It stops here. It didn't do anything! I wasted 40 gold because this is not how it works in this game. Also, that's a pretty cool staff. Damn it, wasted 40 bucks, chat. Scammed. Completely scammed. Uh, let's do this, this, and then the plus one damage for the dark one. Damn it. I'm sad, chat. I'm sad. I tried so hard to game the system. But no. 
I can't just break the game more than I already have. Oh well. At least I can do, what is it? A hundred damage, basically, in one turn. Uh, do I just end the round here? Because I'm healing? That's one dodge. I just end because I'm healing here. And then I try and kill him? Just get a better heart. Yeah, upgrade it like Iron Man does. Yeah, I just gotta turn into Iron Man shot real quick. Oh, no, I don't want to take the curse. Okay, that was a bad idea, shot. Because that means I'm at less health than I was before. <gasps> Each has half the value of the destroyed charge. Oh, no, it only just... only half the value? How do I abuse that, chat? Because that for mage could actually be good. Split is good. But how do I abuse it? If I go here, I need to put one necro here. No, no, it doesn't, no, it's not going to do what I want just yet. I'm going to keep it. But it's not going to do what I want. Because, um, I need another reverser to make use of the splitter. And make this so overpowered. So I need to hold on to it until I get another reverser. At the moment, the splitter does nothing for me. Typical snowman trying to abuse everything he gets his hands on. Exactly! exactly. I've got to try and break the game chat. It's already broken, and I'm breaking it even more. This is amazing. So, let's finish up. And go to this thing? Do I even open it? I've got no space. I'm not even close to a level up. Okay, you're giving me things I don't care about. Okay, that's fine. Uh, then we go check this valuable. Test it? Oh, there's nothing to test, because I haven't done anything with it. I'm- I'm not using the splitter yet. Amplify, um... It wasn't gonna give me anything. Like, the disposal of batteries. Uh, Amplify does... Oh, what does it do it again? Now you can see the worth of Amplify? Hmm... Mr. Snowman is a bad word. <laughs> Adds one charge. Yeah, okay, so adding one charge isn't too bad. Yeah, I can sort of see what you mean with the adding of a charge. But it does... It, everything just takes up so much space. Uh, do I check the valuables and the loot and then not worry about the money? Yeah, that's probably the better choice. Uh, I do like the lucky ring. Let's take that instead of the shoes. Nice dagger. Acidic potion. There's no need for that. Okay, time to die, boys. Give me more repeaters. Reversers. Oh my god, he's dead. That's two deaths, and you're the next one, buddy. I did regen a little bit, that's nice. If you have one energy, how does it get split? Um, oh, that's a good question. Maybe it splits it into one and one. That would maybe be a slight exploit. But, I can be honest and say I've got no flippin' clue. I don't think that's useful. None of this is useful. 
Though I do think creating a herb in this row is pretty cool. Uh, but completely useless to me. Oh, I hate missing out on all this loot. Test it now. Oh, I didn't change anything. You'd be able to get infinite energy, says Andrew. Um, if you set it up right, then yeah, maybe. You're right, if you put it into a loop. Yeah, what about loops? I didn't think about that. So yeah, you might be right. It's unlikely. Chat, I didn't think about loops. I could make a loop. I could go here, 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 and make this a loop. That'd be pretty disgusting. Oh, also, I need to kill this dude. Nice. GG. Don't cheat with magic. I'll cheat with whatever I can. <laughs> uh, Poultice is nice. But none. once again, I don't need any of these things. I am interested in how to do a loop. Because with magic, if I loop with magic, I can spend all of this amazing mana that I use. I am interested. Asking Sonoda, she's like asking not to play the game. <laughs> exactly. If the game's going to screw me over by constantly ditching all the loot that I like, then I'm going to try and do what I can to cheat. Uh... Let's see if I go here with the rotate. Now what? That's not gonna work. I need a second splitter? What? Why didn't it go that way? Two charges going to the side, each charge is the... What? If you don't have an even number, it just takes one. Oh, that's so annoying. Because no, it was... These two already took it, so it was down to one, and it chose the left option instead of the straight option. So yeah, that's how it works. It, it doesn't... Infinite mana, which sucks, because <laughs> we can't abuse it. But it only just chooses the left direction if you have one mana. Oh, so I can't abuse this. But I can do this. Oh, but then it chooses the same path again. I don't like that. How do I solve this dilemma? There's got to be a way to abuse this. The general disappointment of Snow's voice when he says, I can't abuse this. <laughs> I know, I know, it's so sad. Like, this, this this thing seems really good. It's There's something I can do with it, chat. I just have to figure it out. Because the reason why I think this is good is because it can go through mana. It can do the mana procs. It doesn't need to do the energy procs. I want it to do the magic procs. Don't cheat with magic, use shivs. Of course, of course. Shivs are the only way to live. There's gotta be something I can do. You cost nothing. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm thinking. Shift these over a little bit. This. Uh, I need an extra wand. I don't have any more wands. Uh, what if I go with... Oh, but the necro can't fit under here. Hmm. Now it can. Hear me out, chat. Hear me out. Yeah, that actually works.
That uses this twice. This twice. No, wait, three times? No, twice. That uses that twice. And then that uses this twice. Well, this uses once, but it's twice with the activation. That works actually quite nicely, chat. And it's because it's still conductive, I can still get the bonus from Lecture Stone to bonuses all these. Yep. Both four times. Yeah, basically. That is nice. And then, because it finishes on the Necronomicon, it doesn't have to finish on this Necronomicon. I only have three energy anyways, so I don't need it to come back this way to proc for the healing. Weirdly enough, this, this looks weird, but it works. This sometimes makes me so sleepy every stream. Did you curse, curse on me to release me for this vile curse? <laughs> I've just got the sleepy voice chat. That's all it is. I was blessed with a sleepy voice. So, uh, I put people to sleep. It's my magical ability. <laughs> okay, boss. Beat this. Bring it. Mr. Frog. Good luck with my crazy loop-de-loops. Enjoy this. Do I murder him in one turn? Oh no, I don't have enough mana! What? I don't have enough mana to proc the Dark One four times. <laughs> I made the build too good. I don't have enough mana. I need more mana stones. That's so stupid. I made it so powerful I don't have mana to use it. Oh, I'll get some more mana. Later on. I had an idea for an infinite, you need an amplify and then split. It only splits when you get two charge, then amplify add plus one, you know what I'm at. Oh yeah, that could work. That could work. Uh, I mean, I killed the boss in two rounds, so I mean, that works too. But yes, I do like your idea. I'd have to see if the Amplify would work, though. I don't know if it would bring the Amplify back up. But it would be nice. All armor gets plus three for each adjacent gem. That's not gonna happen. Decrease the cost of all adjacent energy weapon... Energy is zero energy? Is this a weapon? An accessory. No, it's still one. If I can make the Necronomicon cost zero chat. It disables it for one turn, so that kind of sucks. Um, but if I could if I could make it cost zero, that would be so disgusting. Uh I don't like any of these. These are all useless. These are all literal garbage. So I'm going to. I mean, I'll take the alloy and sell it if I can, instead of the lucky ring. Oh, wait, is this a two? Oh, there's no way I'm doing that. I can't believe I'm just going to take nothing. Oh, yes, the upgraded mana. How did I not see that? Okay, so upgraded mana is really big. And then I think I have to give up on the lucky ring because I'm desperate for mana at this point. Scream at the streamer for curse. Yeah, <laughs> that'll work. You'll look after me whilst you sleep. Yep, that'll do. You do enjoy your sleep, my good man. Oh, this buffs the ray gun as well. That's really awesome. Okay, so that, that kind of works, and I think now I have enough mana chat. Yeah, I do have enough mana to quadruple proc the Dark Wand. Uh, we now take a healer for permanent health, please. Thank you. Nice. Nice. Any good loot? It's locked. I don't have any keys. I've gotten zero keys this run. Uh, let's go to the Magma Core. Because I've gone to Frozen Heart every single time. So let's change Magma Core. This character needs no luck. He's got infinite potential. Yep. Yep. It's good potential, chat. Okay, this is the final, final levels. This build is carrying us. Uh, I go for the money, right? Yeah, let's go get the money. And then we take the experience as well. Okay, this is a lot. I still think we win. <laughs> I might be able to kill the thief, because I'm triggering three necros per turn. No, I don't know if I can... Yeah, yeah, I can kill him. I can kill him. Never mind. Never mind. Easy. Yep. Yep. 23 poison. Plus the quadruple dark ones are great. 
And I think because I'm trading the Dark One so many times, this Electric Stone has so much worth out of it. So much worth. I need more Electric Stones. Because they're conductive, it's just nice damage. <gasps> space. Chat. Space. Space. It's useless space. I, I can't fit them perfectly. I'm wasting space. But I think the right way to do it is under here. So this part gets longer. And then I can put another... Yes. Yes. The 2 by 2 is a mistake, though. Because it only gives me two. 2x2 two two above the big armor? Nah, it doesn't work because the red... The red means I can't do it. Rotate it? Rotate what? No, none of, none of that fits because the, the bottom... I can't because of the red. But I will get three spaces. So three spaces is good enough because this... Let's me do this, 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 and it now lets me put a new wand here and a second ray gun. Okay, I'll take another ray gun. That's just free damage. Does it expand for later the backpack thing? No, you it doesn't. Like this is as big as my backpack will get, except for these two spots. That's just it. It doesn't get any bigger than this. Um, also, I can just get free block with the structure, so I'll take that. And then the Greaves. That's a free bit of armor as well. That's very tempting. But I don't do I won't do it. I'm okay with just the brick for the time being. But double ray gun. First you get the red later. No no. If the red's there, that's just it for the rest of the run, I think. I don't think you can expand it. Oh, it's locked, of course it's locked. Uh, don't you expand a row over the upper one? No, I think that's the max. That's the max width, that's the max height. So these two are the only spots that I'm missing. The rich get richer says malcontent. I know, I know. Ray gun's just free damage for me at this point. So I am not complaining. Crafting to add. Burn to a weapon, slow to an enemy to a weapon. Haste to a shield, spikes to a shield. I mean, burn on the... Poison would be better. Poison would be so much better. But this is near the end of the game, so maybe I just take the bullet? Because I have weapons, also known as Dark Wands, that have plus one that they can be enchanted with. I'm using them four times a turn. So do I just stack burn? You know what, shot? I'll do it. There we go. Now we have two burn for every enemy times four. And I can add extra burn on the ray guns because why not? Why not? Ray guns that burn. Who would say no to that? Well, I take a spin. Um, what the hell is that? A conductive structure. I've never seen that before. It doesn't give mana, though. That's sad. But that is cool. It makes your structures conductive. Um, I don't think I want anything from here. <gasps> electric stone! Never mind. Never mind. I do want the electric stone. Give me the electric stone! No! That was so close. Dang it. Now I got this. Well, I might sell it. <laughs> no, it's locked. Why am I getting so many locked things? I'm sad. Burn ray guns, exactly. Not the back to back thing. Let's unlock more if you unlock the whole row snow. Oh, okay. Well, I'll test it out, Night Angel. I'll test it out if I level up. Though, good luck, I might not. Oh, thanks, Murph. Not when I've come so far, Murph. Not when I've done so much with this build. The Necro going crazy. Oh, look at the burn stacks. Look at the poison stacks, chat. It's beautiful. 
I can stare at it all day. And I can't die. That's the best part. Uh, at least I don't think I can die. Also, there we go. There's the third Dark Wand, which I need to give burn to. Fudge, I shouldn't spend my money. Oh, is there anything I can sell at the shop? No, I don't think there is. I'm now full. But yes, a third Dark Wand that can trigger six times now. I don't know if I have enough mana for it all, but I sure freaking hope so. I can get there eventually. Yeah, I can I can't do anything from here. Uh it doesn't leave it here, that's annoying. There's two merchants? Oh, I wish I could sell stuff. Do I sell the cleansing wand? What if I'm desperate? Wait, the rage ring is actually decent? Oh, you're right, it actually kinda was decent. Cause I can handle the damage taken. Yeah, I should have I should have been a bit less less hasty with it. I just don't have much space. But then again, you're right, the rage ring probably would have been good for me to make the make it even better. Uh toggle, no, hand axe, no. Fire wand. That does not do as much damage as the dark wand. What is this? Flame axe. That's pretty cool. Haven't seen that before. Just a valuables. You gonna give anything useful? Reactive core can be used once every turn when an adjacent weapon is used to create a charge with plus one energy. Oh. Excuse me? There's another reverser. Charge choice, charges first, charges sword stuck and charge release twice. I like the reactive core. What's this? No, I don't like that. Disposable battery is the one that gets destroyed. I do like the reactive core. How do I abuse that? It is an energy buff, it's a plus one energy. I think I put it... here. Oh, this isn't a weapon. Fudge, I wanted to abuse it here. Uh, I thought this was a weapon, but it's not. Is this a weapon? No, it's an accessory. So how do I do this? I could go with... This? Where does it shoot the energy? It's not shooting the energy chat. The ray gun's a weapon, but this is a weapon too, so I'm like, why is it not creating a charge? The dark one gets used. I'm confused. Maybe it needs a free space? No, that doesn't make sense. It just doesn't work. No, it just doesn't work. When an adjacent weapon is used, create a charge with one energy. Like, I, it's, I... This is an adjacent weapon. It's highlighting it. Thanks, Sakael. 
I'll try with the ray gun. No. It sounds so good. Maybe I need to click on it like a consumable? No, it just says when an adjacent weapon is used, create a charge with one. And the thing is, I've been putting it in the line of the energy as well, so it's like if the energy triggers it. Excuse me. Yeah, you'd think it has to be an orientation thing. Maybe it's the bottom of it. Chat, I think I know the problem, but it's weird. Maybe it's not wands, maybe it's like swords. But it's highlighting it yellow, that's the problem. Place it close to the heart. No, the heart's not doing anything to it. I really want this to work. Enduriel, what are you thinking? What if the charge comes up the blue side? Yeah, I was thinking that, so if you point the blue side away, if this gets activated, it should go this way, right? But then there's no charge that pops out the front. Like, you can see when the charge goes through something, it activates it. Nothing's activating the core, even though it's literally next to something that's getting activated. I don't get it. Skyguard says it doesn't need to aim at something that use the charge. Maybe, but I guess the way that the core works is it just creates a charge. The wiki has nothing about it. Well, the wiki is useless. <laughs> unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. Maybe it works in practice, but not during testing. You know, I'm going to give the game the benefit of the doubt that it won't screw me over. Then again, it might still screw me over. Okay, let's do the math. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And then I'm getting energy back after I've used things. So I think I can afford to get rid of this one mana stone. Can I test it directly? No. I can't test the item. I can only test the heart. And then whatever the heart does, everything else affects because of it. So no giving the game the benefit of the doubt sounds like RNG. Yeah, I am. I shouldn't be giving the game the benefit of the doubt. But I think this is too good to ignore. Ugh, I just hope it works. Uh, is there an enemy on this pa I can't do an enemy up here. What's the danger? It is a lizard boss? Is that like a fish dart? That looks weird. It's a starter core needs to be put first. Yuri Varello. Thank you for the info. Reactive core core. No, that doesn't work. Like, it does say core on the name. But everything starts from the normal core. Yeah. But it needs to be next to a weapon, that's the thing. When an adjacent weapon is used, it creates a charge with one energy. It's the same idea as this creates a charge with three energy, and it comes out the top. So this one, it looks like it's a grenade, but it doesn't look like it should come out the top, but I guess... Oh, actually, it does come out the top. Okay, I'm looking at it wrong. That looks like a handle, but it's not. It's a tube. It's a very small tube. So this thing has a tube at the top of it, as you guys can see with the color of the grayish. That means this has a tube with the grayish out the top as well. So it will, the charge will come out the top, which is exactly where I was hoping it would. If this does work, how do I want to build this? Um, I 
I want to build it like this. I think. Because I want to make sure I get extra um, uses on the dark ones. That would be pretty insane. Yeah, I like that. It does make this ray gun a little bit weaker, but it makes this area stronger if it activates correctly. Please tell me this does what I want it to do. Mm, we'll have to test it in a fight. Have to test it in a fight. Can I get more burn? I'm out of... Mm, I'm out of gold. No, I need more burn! Give me gold. Give me more gold. Stupid locked chests. Dang it. Found a YouTuber and they have it working? They have it working? So it does seem to work. Okay, well that's good to hear. Maybe it's just either my luck or the version of the game that maybe might have some problems with it. I got no keys. Okay, I guess we just go downstairs and hope it works. Snow has a skill issue. What a surprise. What a surprise. Okay, let's see if this works, chat. Please let it work. Uh, we go this way. Do we need health? No, we need money. Now let's go into a fight. Let's see if my science works. Probably won't. Come on, come on, reactive core, come on. Yes! It worked! Chat, it worked! Yes! Oh, okay, that's good. I ran out of energy. I think. In terms of mana. Yeah, I'm slightly running out of mana. But it worked. So it does make the necro proc... Four times? Yeah, it makes the necro proc four times. That's nice. Okay. Chat. I'm happy about that. So that... Oh, it works off the ray gun, but it doesn't work off the wand. That's weird. Even though it's highlighting on the wand, it only propped once I hit the ray gun. I don't know why, but I'm okay with this because it worked. Okay, that gives two extra energy. Wait, why is my why are my wands not working? Chat, what happened? Why are my wands not working? What? I'm so confused. But I do need this. I think I can... Do I give up on the cleansing wand? Do I give up on the microchip? I gotta give up on something. I need more mana. But I'm very confused as to why... What am I doing wrong? I think my wands weren't firing in that last fight. Is it because the reactive core is being weird? No, I know why they weren't firing. It's because the reactive core makes me have too many uses of the dark wands. I broke the game! No, I broke the game, chat. Uh, okay, why is the electric stone only conducting... Did I ruin my conductivity? Yeah, I did. There we go! I'm ruining my conductivity with these pipes. That's what I did, chat. I ruined my conductivity. Ugh, I knew I did something stupid. Okay, that solves that issue. I can now use my wands to an insane potential. I think I give up on the cleansing wand and go full damage potential. I need to go electric. Like, the electric gives me so much bonus. I can't skip it in Blood Mess. But I might be able to skip the microchip. For some luck. Oh, I feel bad about it. Hmm. But I think it's the right call. Because I want more... <coughs> Excuse me. I want more mana, and I want more gems. I'm going to play it super risky, chat. we got to go. we got to do this. 
Uh, do I heal up here? Sure. And then I try and get some free money. Okay. This is the showdown time. We'll just do what I want it to do. Yep, uses up a bunch of mana. Yep, extra mana used. Extra mana used. Extra mana used. I still need more mana. Oh my god, there's so much mana that I need! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. How do I get even more mana? I don't even know. Yeah, I, I just need more mana. It's not even close. Yeah, I know. I thought I, I thought I was getting close, Enduriel. But I broke the game with this reactive core. And I have so much mana that I'm spending, I'm not even getting enough back. I need more Necronomicons, chat. Like, the wizard robe's good. Give me more Necros. No, a double battery isn't what I want. Dice actually could be good here. Electric Wand is not what I'm looking for. But I might take the dice instead of the Lucky. Yeah, that's fine. Didn't you have three? No, I only have two Necronomicons. It was just proccing three times. No, no, no. I, I've only ever had two Necros. But I procced it three times because of the three mana. Uh, I used to have the Hood. That's the thing that I used to have to give me more mana. And I feel bad about getting rid of it, but I didn't have a choice. That was the thing that I had to get rid of. Because it was draining my mana. But now that I have extra mana with the reactive core... <sighs> I am getting extra mana back with the Necro, but then I can't spend for the Wand. No, I was trying to think of if I could put the Necro up here, then I could do that. I've got an idea, but I don't think it's going to work. I'll have to do it after this fight. I have a crazy idea, but I don't think it's going to work. But the, the amount of damage I output, holy crap. Oh yeah, he's dead. Yep, he dies to poison first round. Bye, buddy. Now, I get enough mana back 2, 4, 6. 2, 4, 6, because the Necro ended on that turn. Then I get 2 back from there. Then I get 2 back from there. And then I get 2 back from there. And then 2 back from there. Which sets me down to... Oh my god. It sets me at 6 or 7 mana per turn. Which is good, but I need so much more, so I might need to get more wizard robes. I think that's what I need the most. As much as I love this knight's armor, I'm gonna be honest, the wizard robes is very important to my build. So please give me more wizard robes. No, no. That's cool though, rockets are cool. <gasps> yes, three mana! Okay, that goes away from the dice. The three mana gemstone's big. That's going to make me last a little bit longer, but I need more regen. So regen of wizard robes would be good here to switch out for this knight's armor. Because my defense is pretty good. So the knight's armor is good, but I can I can do better. Can I use the dice now? Yeah, I can use the dice now, but I don't know if that's going to get rid of the huge mana stone. So uh, please don't get rid of the huge mana stone. It doesn't! What the heck is this? Oh, it's a free reorganize. Oh, that's not good. Okay, well, the dice was worth using, but sadly, nothing good. Sadly. But, three mana. Knight's armor has energy, though. Yeah, but the energy's useless, Malcontent. We got, we got scammed. The plus one energy does nothing. Because that's not how energy's generated by the robot. It scammed me. So, I, I'm sad. We learned it the hard way, sadly. 
Please give me more wizard's armor. No! Don't want any of that. Question mark, give me wizard's armor. No, you're giving me potions. No, I don't want potions. Go away. No, it's all good, Malcontent. It, it See, like, it makes sense in normal gameplay. That makes sense. But in this gameplay, nothing makes sense. Need to spend a spark through it to take energy? Yeah, I thought about that, but it doesn't. Because it's always the energy that it creates with a charge. So the plus one energy here isn't helpful. Though, if I put it next to the heart or something, maybe, but I'd have to test that. Oh wait, you died to poison next turn? Sucks to be you. Okay, my damage does do okay on second turn. But I am missing out on so much DPS because of these extra turns. Oh my goodness. My first turn is all DPS, and my second turn and third turn suffer a little bit. But, at least I'm getting four procs to the Necronomicon every turn, so that's nice. Your Alpha Strike is insane, but I have zero sustain. Yeah, that's the thing. I have zero sustain with this build. Okay, I mean, there's a key. Do I risk it? I mean, I'm doing so much damage. Four, five, six, seven, eight. You know what? I risk it, chat. I do a really big risk here. I've got to risk it. I need the key. I need to find some more armor. Uh, what else do I take with me that's worth money selling-wise? None of this is worth anything. Yep. Yeah. Okay, well. Key, don't fail me now! Don't fail me now, Key. Oh my goodness. That's nice. What's this? Mechanical gem. When this finishes moving, weapons in this column get three damage. What do you mean when it finishes moving? It's not moving. Uh, th this thing's cool. So I'm happy about this. I'll, I'll take that. That's free damage. But, other than that, I don't think I can do much else. It's not giving me more mana, sadly. Each turn the item's used just for free. Okay, so I don't have to do anything to this weapon. It just does it every turn. Sure, I'll, I'll just, I don't know. I'll swap it out for later. <laughs> Please tell me you're selling me armor. Okay, so that uh, so getting rid of my knight's armor for that maybe not was was not the bestest choice, but uh, let's hope it doesn't bite me in the butt, chat. Because that was not the best exchange for the cool armor that I had. But our DPS is still good. I still get thirty-four armor a turn, so it's not like I really shot myself in the foot that badly. Plus 12 armor to start. Should still get me up to 36. Man, my turn lasts so long. 34, yeah, 34 is still pretty good. Oh, and he dies to poison the second turn. Holy frick, he doesn't even die to the poison. Uh, shield adjacent and diagonal armors get plus one block. Tome is good, but it costs some mana, and I can't do that. I, I don't have mana. That's six mana to the network destroyed. That's good as a temporary solution to my problem, not a permanent solution to my problem. Yeah, I don't like these solutions. These solutions are not solutions. Question mark, be something good, care to a trade. Get a rare item of the same type. Uh, do I give up on the lightning chat? Because it's the same type, it's a wizard robe. You know what? With my luck, this is going to be a wizard robe. You gave me a legendary item. I'll sell it. <laughs> that, 
Uh, I, I was hoping for something cheaper, but thanks. Okay, time to sell it. <laughs> Goodbye, Rapier, you're useless to me. But now I have 50 bucks, so I could buy a legendary item, but I... There's nothing I want to buy. None of this is useless to useful to me. And the Blade Summoner sucks, because I can't use that. Oh, uh, could I... Fudge, I forgot what the Blade... The Blade Summoner was good in one of my runs. Blade Summoner... Um... it turns it into a decent weapon. Ethereal Blade, but it costs two energy. That's why it's not good. Yes, because it's two energy and I can't deal with energy. Yes. Uh, Jerry Avalo, welcome to the stream, man. Glad you're enjoying and much appreciated for the follow. But yes, the Blade Summoner worked on a previous run because I had a lot of energy. And three mana wasn't too much of a problem. But I can't use it this run. Okay, so I just can't do anything here. The forge is going to give me... Nothing. Oh, I could do two block to an armor, but there's no upgrades left on these. Yikes, this better not be the last level. Oh, it's locked. Please be something that can save me from my predicament. No. No, this doesn't save me. Does the ward count as a melee weapon? No, the wand does not. This doesn't count as a weapon. These ones don't count as melee weapons, but these do technically count as weapons. But the weapon that actually procs the reactive core is this weapon, which is weird. But that's just how it is. I don't think... Another reverse is going to help me. I'm going to be honest. Because the way that these charges end, they end at the Necronomicon, so the charge going past it's useless. The red one gives me a free charge once. So it could be good for like a boss fight. So I may as well just take it. Oh, and it needs to go here. No! Dang it, that screws that up. No, it goes here. Because then it shoots that one down here, and it shoots one over here, so I can get two Necronomicon bits. So that gives me two uses of Necronomicon, which gives me more energy for a boss fight, and that's all I can use it for. So at least I got some sort of upgrade. So, yeah, it gets destroyed. Yeah, yeah, which is, I'm not going to use it now. I'll use it on a boss fight. But it only gets destroyed when I remotely use it. Oh, can be used indirectly. Is it going to get destroyed when I use it? Oh, I should have tested this. I should have tested this. <laughs> Check my conductivity. My conductivity should be fine, because I've clicked Electric Stone, my conductivity's been fixed. I almost ruined it, that is true, Enduriel. I did almost ruin it. Uh, maybe I've shot myself in the foot. Actually, this is a boss. Technically. You know what? Please don't activate. Damn it. Probably should have tested it, but that's fine. <laughs> oh well, it's fine. I thought remote activation meant it's the only way it can get activated, so I was like, screw it, I don't care, I can do remote activation. No, it can be physically activated with my darn thing. Anyways, I'll skip the curse. I can heal that. Uh, Phil's Depub says, uh, you're looking to try this one too. By the way, did you know Thea 1 and 2, you might like it. I've seen some nice video gameplay of Thea 2. It's very enticing. I do like the look of Thea 2. Uh, Thea 1 looks a little bit more dated, so I don't have as much uh, interest for it, so, so to speak. But I did like the look of Thea 2. 
so I am keen on playing that one. Thea 2's getting a DLC as well this year? Nice! I have it on my to-do list of playing, and I'm gonna try and play it on stream as well. Damn, damn, 50 poison, 21 burn. That was good, chat. What the hell is this? What? That sounds good, but it also sounds bad. This sounds... Uh... If you can keep finding mana stones constantly, this is really good. Yeah, it does... Yeah, when you run it with the crappy ones, that's the thing, Enduriel. It, it, yeah, but you don't get crappy ones these days. But I guess this is still really good. So I'll take it. It gives me one mana. There we go. So this is one out of one. It'll consume a two, but I can't get any ones anymore. So I think I just have to keep consuming twos for ones. Which kind of sucks, but if I keep finding mana... Or why don't I just hold it there? It's just one mana, so I can't say no to it. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just use it. It's plus one mana. And if I find yuckier manas, like that are really, really weak, um, then I can just put a small one next to him and then just keep filling it up. Yeah, that, that still works. I'm okay with this. That's, that's so rare. It's a legendary item, chat. We are being blessed this run. Unstable mana destroy. Oh, the one that gives me plus a bunch of mana? Yeah, I could have done that. But I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> Even though I should have. Uh, let's go for the boss fight. We got this. Upgrades weak mana stones, but don't run next to good ones. Yes, that's exactly. Oh, hello, dude. Yeah, you look pretty scary. But don't worry about me, I've got mana for days! Oh no! Okay, I panicked. I thought it used this item. It didn't. It just took some of the mana from it. I was like, oh my goodness, it already used the mana stone when I didn't want it to. No, it's fine. You're regening. I don't really care, do I? No, I think we're good, shot. Look at the mana we're doing. Look, look, we're not running out of mana, chat. Uh, skip the curse, take 19 damage. Mm. Yeah, we'll be fine. We can heal that back up. But we are taking 7 burn. Why am I not running out of mana? Did I do something wrong? Why is it not re-triggering these wands, chat? I know what I did wrong, conductivity. You're right, I screwed over my conductivity! Damn it! This stone's meant to be here. I can't move them now or I die. It's okay, I don't die, chat. Because I can still regen. And I'm still doing Necronomicon damage. Oh, I did a stupid... Why don't I test? Because I thought I was fine. I thought I was fine, Nate Angel. Okay, wait. 13 plus 9 plus 7 plus 5. Oh, I need to keep my regen up or else this burn will get to me. Yeah, reorganize, but it costs me three energy. Don't kill me. Oh, that hurt. 23 damage, holy freaking crap. 
Chat, I might die here. Kill the first, the minion, then the boss, because then he's got no damage. Yeah, I probably should kill the minion. I'm getting a really good stack of damage on the boss, but I do worry about this burn stacking up. Oh, chat, I'm dead. The burn got too high. No! I could try and refight, redo that fight. Is it possible? Please. Please tell me I can redo the fight. Yeah, yeah, I can just redo the fight. I can save scum it. I don't deserve the save scum, but I want to see if it was actually possible to win without me being stupid. There. Without me being stupid. We can test. See if the build actually would win. Oh, we don't have the cleansing. Of course we don't have the cleansing. But the cleansing wouldn't save us. The minion was the one that was burning me more. I mean, the boss was burning me a little bit, but you're right. The minion was burning me, so I should have focused the minion more. Okay, that's pretty good. Nice big hits. Stack the fire. Stack the lovely poison. The thing that I worry about is that the burn... Okay, we need to kill the minion constantly then. Oh, because if we focus the minion, we can still do Necronomicon damage to everybody else. Oh, and now we're out of energy. Yep. Now with the connected mana, it means I can still run out of energy. Oh, and the minion dies immediately! Oh my goodness, we do so much damage. Yep. Yep. Nice. Streamer doomed run when he lost the shiv. I know, I know. Okay, that is still very nice with the defensive grid. The poison's going up, the burn's going up. Okay, there we go. Snow is trolling. I know, I know, I made a stupid mistake. <laughs> and Daryl, you have a good sleep, man. Or whatever you're up to. Have a good one, man. Okay, this boss isn't too bad. If I focus the minion, I should be fine. Because currently the burn's only at four. He doesn't stack it as much as the minions. How much are you going to burn me for? You're going to go for the curse. Which I think I can kill him before he gets his turn. If I have enough mana. Yes! Oh my goodness. I was not expecting that. Holy crap. Yeah, this build's broken. I just did a stupid... I don't do anything productive, but I shall test Thea 2 and see if it's any good, because I can't remember lol. Oh, Thea 2 is a great game. It's very different. It's a um, strategy, turn-based game. And uh, it's based on, like, cards, but it doesn't feel like it's based on cards, because it's... Uh, it tries to go as, like, these cards are characters, not actually cards. But yeah, it's a it's a really cool game. Uh, the guns are so good. Yeah, the, the poise... The, the flame damage plus the fact these guns hit pretty hard from a distance. Oh... He dies to poison chat. I gotta stop being stupid with the conductivity. But other than that, this build's really freaking good. <laughs> Magic, but I've got a gun. It's Harry Potter, but with guns, chat. Uh, are you gonna let me go further? Oh my goodness, it is, chat. Well, that's nice. But well, that's kind of useless, because there's no way for me to benefit from this. Except for more mana stones, so I guess that's a good thing. Nice. What would the game have given me? All weapons gain plus five damage. And then they're anchored for two... Are you kidding me? Plus five damage? That's nice. Anchor it, I don't care. I don't move anything in my inventory. You can try Theo 1 with DLC and mods, Xeno event, and reproduce. It's still very good. Prefer the combat system with Theo 1 more than 2. Nice! I'll have to look into Theo 1, since you're suggesting it. I will have to look into it then. Okay, we'll save that. Return to the menu. Manage M3, did I miss it? Fudge, did I actually miss it? <laughs> I was starting again anyways. Because, uh, 
I, I was not going for an endless run. I was going to just do a normal run. But I must have missed a mana three because you guys are yelling at me about it. <laughs> okay, let's do a normal run, but we're going to do it on hard mode. Hard mode. Can't unlock lethal. You have to finish all these on, like, chat. Look at this. You can't do hard mode 2 until you finish hard mode 1. That's kind of annoying, because what if you want it to be really hard and you can't go unfair mode? Ah, uh, fine. Let's just go normal hard mode. Delete save on death. Wait, that was that was an option? I lied and didn't leave right away. Maybe I'll try Theo 1 with mods. <laughs> that sounds interesting, Enduriel. I hope it does work out. Where's the delete save on death? Oh, is that just the really hard mode? Lower? Lethal? Hmm. Oh, this thing! Oh, yeah, yeah, delete save on death. Yeah, that's for non-save scummers. I'm not save scumming, but I did it for that final boss because I screwed up. <laughs> look outside the box. I only ever look inside the box, Night Angel. I'm only an inside-of-the-box type of person. Never outside the box. <laughs> uh, I actually didn't mind going to the Bramble. That was actually pretty good. Option for Iron Man. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. There's not a lot. No worship on Theo 1. Look on Nexus, but Xenos is the best they have. Nice, nice. Uh, let's do this, and I'm gonna go for a bow build this time, chat, because that's the one build we haven't done yet. And they give me a dagger. Okay, I'll take the dagger. But I'm not doing a dagger build. I'm doing a bow build. Also, we do level up, so that's nice. Okay, bows are really good from left to right. So we want to do it like that, right? Yeah. Yeah, east to west. Our boss is the chicken man, who is good with rage. Uh, seven and five. Get some poison on you. Goblin not do that, Goblin streamer might not see. Goblin's face smashing his head against the wall for missing the obvious button. I know, I know. The streamer did unspeakable things. Good job healing, buddy. It's not gonna keep you alive forever. Haha! -ha. Oh, I could've killed him, but it's fine. Missed lethal there. But we do level up. Nice. Keep going east to west. Give me a bow! That's a decent mix of stuff for the moment, but I still want a bow. Yeah. Thanks for upgrading my mana stone, buddy. That almost worked. Reorganize now, claim this weapon. No. Nope. I forgot the game lets you do that. I, I haven't played a character that lets me do that in a long time. Okay, that's some good regen. I forgot I can't regen the, the mana stones. Bows and curses on air is the best way to deal with any living issue. Ooh, yes. 
Yes, that would sound like a lot of successful killing. Wooden sword gives you splinters. Yeah, it should. It should give a bit of splinter damage, but it doesn't. It just does basic damage. But, please give me a bow, a skull wand. No, that's not what I want. I'll take the dice. Can I use the dice right now? <laughs> I could use the dice right now. But, I don't know if that's the right choice. You know what? Screw it. That's not really great. I mean, Heavy Blade's pretty cool. That's definitely better than the Wooden Sword. So, now what? <coughs> cleaver can combo when you have Lucky Rings. Yeah, I'll take the Cleaver just because there's a chance I can get some extra luck. Luck is always good. Uh, stacking Apprentice Staff is probably not useful in this situation. I do like the Knight's Armor, but I know that the Rough Buckler is going to be better for now. Could give up on the Wand, but no, I'll just leave it like this. It might fail me, my decisions, but hopefully this works. This is like Snow Plane Deity, he never gets the loot he wants. Yeah, I'm, I'm, but, I mean, last run was good. Because last run I wanted to go Mage Build. And it worked. This run, I want to do more than Mage Build, and it's not letting me. I'm tempted to take the Brick. But I shouldn't be tempted. There's a Cleaver. What are the Cleavers in row 2 energy? It was a red one. Ooh, nice. Uh, what can I do here? I need to kill this guy before he becomes a problem. Kill him with the cleaver, can I? Yes! I got luck. Uh, now I'm gonna take damage. That's also not good. But I can regen it a little bit with this nice. There we go. A little bit of regen. 10 damage. Stack the poison. And we got this fight. Nice! I'm back in Snow Slayer Glow's fight against the boss. What's this run about? Uh, this run is possibly trying to get some ranged weapons happening. I'd love to do some bows, see if it's actually viable. It, it is viable, I know that, but if I can actually successfully do it is another part of the question. Also, we're trying to get a bit of luck from this Club Cleaver, which is somehow working at the moment. Hey, I just got two kills with luck! And I'm still not getting ranged weapons. Come on, game. Come on. I guess I take the gloves so I can sell them. Please give me ranged weapons. None of them. Glitched potion creates any item. What? Wait. What? Robot toy. Each turn deals one damage to all enemies. For each connected mana stone. What? The potion can create legendaries? Wait, wait. Does that mean I get to choose? Is there a bow I desperately want? No, crossbow's useless. Hawkeye's bow is fires the first arrow in the row. Wait, fires the first arrow left. 
I found my first. Yeah, the, the Hawkeye's bow is really good. Expert bow is first turn on the road to the right gets plus three damage. Mouse bow is no. So I'd want to get the Hawkeye bow. It says it's random. Dang it! I wish it would be not random. Okay, let's sell the knives because I'm not going to use them. Do I buy the potion or do I buy the? Do I save it for the robot toy? That's a weird build, but it's based around a lot of mana. But that's a mage's build. You can buy and sell later, that's true. Snow, don't be greedy. You know what? I'll be greedy. Chat, we have to play with the randomizer. We just have to. It creates any item in the game. I've got to know what it is. It gives me the hoodie? That's actually pretty good. That's actually nice. The hoodie's actually good. Uh, I can't remember how good it is, but I know it's good. I hate this organization, though. Uh, I think we give up on all those three, and I think this is fine. But yeah, this is the hoodie chat. It's a legendary item. <laughs> Every time you take damage, you get three maximum HP. And I got this early into the run. So that's gonna be nice. That's gonna be really nice. So all I need to do is protect once. Oh, but then I take five damage. And I can't regen this fight because I screwed up my inventory. So I'll defend both times and poison you and set you up for some damage. Okay, do little bits of damage to me, fudge. 7 plus 7 is 14. I need to triple defend this turn? Yikes. 4, 3, and 4. I don't want to take that much damage. You're healing 8. I can live with that. Okay, here I take a little bit of damage, and that should give me a max health. Nice. Now I need to kill, and they're not letting me kill them. Do I need to risk the damage here? I think I need to risk the damage. Oh, this is hard. Stop healing them. Stop! He's doing 15! I can't heal that much damage. I can't block that much damage. Chat, why are they healing even more? I'm losing. I'm actually losing this fight. How am I losing? No! How is their damage ramping up? Are you freaking kidding me? You're freaking kidding me. That's not fair! Why is their damage increasing every turn? Game's bullying me for daring to have a good item. Yeah! Stupid. Okay, we'll try that again because the game is being mean that. this The game is just being rude. So let's do a ranged build game. After giving me a legendary item. <sighs> I'm sad. Range! No. Staff. Hmm. 
Yeah, it's all right. I can do this instead. That's a better setup. Boss is Chicken Man with a mohawk? No, no. I was going to say tomahawk, but that's a staff halberd thing. Fair enough. Okay, six damage is annoying. Okay, can I do... Yep, the kill to start the game. Good. Be organized to get a free cave fish. Nope. Nice, nice. That wasn't too bad. I found an arrow! Finally! <laughs> I found a shuriken, too. Nice projectiles, chat. Nice projectiles. I don't think I'm gonna go structures, though. Shurikens get destroyed, though. That's the problem. You can't keep them. Arrows you can. But shurikens you can't. So shurikens are like, you constantly make shurikens. And then what you do is you, you need like a bag of shurikens. And then it keeps making more shurikens. Okay, how do I win this fight? Go for the big hit. Shield, shield, and then I can't do anything there. Does a little bit of damage. I can reorganize now to claim a prize, and it's a lucky ring. Oh, do I take 11 damage for a lucky ring shot? I think the answer is yes. <laughs> the game just gave me a lucky ring. I'll take it. We know you would, yeah. You guys know me enough. Definitely gonna go for that. Nice. Let's hope it doesn't, you know, bite me. Uh, Big Finn heals 10 HP. Oh, yep, yep, that immediately saves me from being problematic. And um, making mistakes. There's a shield, no, a key? Yes, I'll take a key. Yeah, that works. The fish solves my problems. Energy? I don't think any of those things would have given me energy. Uh, let's use the fish. And let's murder this dude. Yes, he's dead. Also, why are you doing so much damage to me again? I hate you, you stupid bird. Okay, I had to use the shuriken there. Yes, the rage got me the kill. Let's go! I reorganize for a shield. No. 11 times 3 is not enough. So let's chip at him a little bit. Now, ten times three is enough. Let's go! Let's go! That was beautiful. Give me a bow, give me a bow. Why aren't you giving me bows? What is this? <gasps> Rare herb for maximum HP. I'll take it. Heavy blade. Oh, that's the one we had last time. Surprisingly, the game's giving it to me again. I do want other return of stone. There we go. That'll work.
Nice! I don't know why we're doing staff build, but it's just because we don't have a choice at this point. Upgrade a mana stone, thank you. The key? No, I couldn't. I, I didn't have enough space for the second key. I can only take three items. Unfortunately. Give me a bow. Oh, stupid. Poison stars aren't bad, but, you know, it would be nice. That yet. Oh, do I need to heal? Yeah, I probably need to heal shot. Hello, big guys. What the heck? That's a lot of damage you guys want to do to me. What? Okay, at least we hit him a bit hard. Damn. They're doing it again. I can't kill him in time. No, I'm gonna die. Chat, this hard mode is hard. Are you freaking kidding me? Reorganize to claim the poultice. Uh, yeah, I'd love to, but I can't. Damn, this hard mode's hard. Maybe robot's just too good, chat. I mean, I'm too used to being too good with the robot. But I'm sucking at the moment. These all I mean, these rooms also are a bit rough. Like, they're sending me this? Ten plus five is four. Yeah, okay, I can do this. Two energy. I might need to use that meal. Seven. I could eat the meal and then kill him. And then I win. Oh, I can use the meal twice. I didn't realize that. Reorganize for a machete. No. Because the machete sucks. I gotta be better with my, uh... My use of consumables. 3 times 7 is 21, that's not enough. There we go. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Could have been worse. Did I just break the game? Stacking star creates a shuriken in this space. Deals three damage. Destroyed. Interesting. The tunic's gonna be good. The flute seems pretty useless. The buckler seems helpful in case of a pickle, which I will be in pickles for sure. Okay. Um. The boss is the rapier dude. Don't need to heal yet. Still no ranged items. I am getting healing items though, surprisingly. Trade food for a cleaver. Sure, I'm not using this food anymore. Okay, a heart cleaver gives me a little bit of health. 
If I do kill somebody, I get plus one health healed. Not maximum, but healed. Uh, 34. Yeah, I can't kill you. But I can kill you next turn. Oh, and then you run away. Oh, I wasn't aware that's a thing. Oh, I wanted to reorganize to get the free item. Oh, oh, upgraded shield. Yes, because that shield sucks. Add six regen. Ooh, regen's good. Mana, fish, fish is healing. Cool drink for energy. Yeah, that might save my ass. And then the the mana just because of mana. Or do I go for health? No, I can't. Okay. I think... Oh, I can level up. Yeah, I forgot I had one extra space. I was trying a thing, but it didn't work. Cool drink for energy and damage. Oh, I mean, it does. It does a little bit of damage, but yes. Obviously, it's for the damage. Um, so you're going to be like that, aren't you, rat boy? Doing more damage than I can block. Reorganize for a brick. Uh, maybe? No. It's too much effort to reorganize for a brick, I think. I think because it's the Rat King, I can just take this fight slow. I don't think he's going to do enough damage to kill me. The one shield plus the, the tunic's actually making a big difference. It's saving my ass right now. This is actually big. Okay, yeah, that's not bad. 16. I probably should have seen the math. Oh no, their damage is ramping up. Why oh, do you have 17 armor? What? Now you're doing 23 armor. Oh no. Why does hard mode have to do this to me, chat? Do I go for a cool drink here so I stop taking damage? I might go for the regen though. Then he hits me, I regen it. Then I smack him. And then I use the cool drink so I can smack him again. And then chuck the cup at him. Do I care about the stacking star? Mm, I think I can win without it. Except 19 is annoying. Okay, I can work with this. And then next turn, as long as he doesn't kill me... I kill him next turn. Okay! I was worried there for a second, chat. Just a little bit. But with some patience... We got him. Please give me good items. I mean, it's not the worst items in the world. I did get a luck ring. I did get some boots. I did get a staff. Good upgrades, but still hoping for a ranged. Cleaver kill could have been good, but we're at max health. We had regen. So I didn't need to cleaver kill. Unknown events. No range. Of course not. Cleavers below get bonus damage. Wait, why are you guys trying to get me cleavers? I don't want cleavers. Weapon two spaces would get four damage. Oh, it's either the greaves or the pearl. <clears throat> but 
I don't trust myself to not accidentally get this curse. Oh, I got the Greaves. Nice. Just touched it on the edge for the White Pearl? I know. But the last time I did that, it popped over to the other square. So, it screwed me over. Uh, let's do it like this, this, this. Adjacent weapon with the plus one damage. Plus one damage, and we can abuse the wonderful Greaves. Oh, it's such a good, nice setup. That worked out really well. I made it a bit too far. I know. But I wasn't expecting to. Crossbow is not what I'm looking for. But it is technically a ranged weapon. All arrows in each row to the right. I'll consider it. A luck ring would be nice. And I got Greaves anyways, chat. Why did I get a second pair of Greaves? I don't know. <laughs> but what I do need to do, chat, is I need to sell these Greaves. So I need to empty out the Poultice and the Heart... Hmm. The Stacked. Let's do that. Toss the Staff? Nah, the Staff's part of my damage, sadly. Sadly. Uh, I could go double Greaves, but I need to make money. So we sell that. We sell the Boohoo Buckler because it's not actually helping me. And then we sell the Cleaver because that's not helping me either. And then we go fight and get tons of luck. Uh, you guys run away if your big dude's dead, so let's focus on the big dude. Right? Six plus six is twelve plus five is seventeen. So we just win here, right? Your mana stone is not connected. Oh, I wasn't using the mana stone, not good player. I was just getting rid of it. <laughs> Nine plus five is fourteen plus six is twenty. I'll take a little bit of damage here, but I should it should be worth it. Cause then these guys flee. Yep. Okay, I'm learning, chat. I'm learning. And I get a free... No, it wasn't giving me the free darn... <laughs> That's not fair. It's not fair, chat. Anyways, I'll take the fish. And the... Volatile Potion. Okay. Interesting. This is how a bow build looks like. Yeah. It's the best bow build you've ever seen, chat. Because the game exactly wants to give me what I want right now. Because the game is being way too nice. Uh, do I do this? I just take the damage, right? And the reasoning behind that is... I've got fish. <laughs> there we go, we take the damage, we shield up, we eat a fish. And then we're good. Apparently you're allowing luck, we've seen your luck, and it means nothing. I know! That's the, that's the sad part, chat. I have to rely on luck in this game. And it, it's, it, I have to rely on luck in a game of looting. And and that's, what, that's it. I just have to loot. And it's painful, because I never get the loot I want. Like, it's giving me a dark one to reorganize. No! I don't want it. <laughs> Give me a bow. Dang it. Whoever made the Ludomo, it's amazing, should be told so. Yeah, it's a good one. It's definitely a good one. I think it's the best out of the three that I got. So I'm really happy with it. Uh, Lucky Star deals five damage, adds luck, destroyed. Okay, I will take that. I'll also take another fish. Oh, the Cave Shark's really good. But now I'm running out of space.
Oh, Spiked Club is good. Wait. That means I keep the fish. Yeah, Spike Club is better than Wooden Sword. The Wooden Sword sucks. Give me more loot. Trade food for a cleaver. I could give him the shark thing. Sure. All adjacent cleavers are used. Well, that's for a cleaver build, which I am not going for at the moment. Do I go for loot and experience, or a fight, which is experience and money? But a fight is also loot. What? There's only a single enemy, though. Heading east on most of my maps, but it's random. Ah, uh, yes. Chest of valuables versus a fight. Where do I? Why not both? Because I can't. It's on a crumbling. It's on a crumbling block. Do I need to sleep? You have to stream again tomorrow. I do have to stream again tomorrow. Uh, and I didn't realize it's four a.m. But I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. I also have my V here in case I am dying. But I'm actually surviving off of the energy that I got from playing hockey. So I'm surprisingly doing okay. I might do another hour because I don't want to go too long. It is technically four in the morning. But yeah. Uh, chat, I'm gonna go eeny, meeny, miny, mo. catch a tiger by the toe. If he doesn't give you loot, then you should probably steal all his loot. Let's go fight this, this one. Oh dear god, maybe I shouldn't have gone for a fight. I'm not that strong. Do, 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 do. I totally make good decisions, chat. Let's get some luck into this fight. Let's hope it's worth it. Taking the fight's good for the, uh of that. Uh, 6 plus 5 is enough for me to go smack, smack, smack. I could cave shark it, but I think I'm only just going to take, like, one damage. 5 plus 6 is 11, and taking one damage I can live with. And then he just dies, right? Yeah! Why? Why did my luck give me a splint? <sighs> well, I can sell it at least. I'm sad. <laughs> oh, merchant. Please take this from me. You won't take more items. Oh, fudge! I forgot about that. Oh, it's gonna screw me over so badly. Because it disables my armor. Oh, no, 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 it disables the splint if I have any armor. Okay, okay, I read it wrong. No need to panic, chat. No step on the icon, you couldn't see it. That is true. I did step on the icon. I panicked. Uh, do I go for the loot? No, because the experience will level me up. Okay, so the splint is disabled. If I'm wearing armor. I thought it was the other way around. Uh, you're gonna deal a bit of damage to me, but I can do damage to you. Do I kill him now? No, I save that for the boss. Can't blame Snow, only blame GP. It's the only way. Got it. This start's actually a little bit better than last start, except I just don't have any good bow stuff. Which makes me sad. Oh, whoops. I'm one damage off. It's okay, buddy, you'll die. Oh, I can reorganize for a gauntlet. But that would make me a melee armor build thing. No, I'm not getting the free item. I refuse to be taken by the system. I got a bow. It's 
I finally got a bow. I have no arrows for the bow. <laughs> well, that's interesting. How do I get arrows for my bow? I'll take that. So the bow is useless at this point in time. But you better give me some ammo, you darn enemies. Dodge the next one attack. Screw that. Hmm. This guy's gonna do a lot of damage. So I need to shield, shield. Which gives me 24. Which is just enough. Well, not almost enough. I need to smack you, smack you again. So I need to use this. And then I need to use this. And then he's almost dead after using all my consumables. And I still take like... 4 damage or something. But now, he's dead, and you're just trying to heal. Ha! We did it, chat. Exchange for a better event. Yeah, that might be good. Rearrange for Poison Star. That is a pathetic rearrange. Maybe I'll just get random rearranges to give me ammo. That would be nice. Or I get my first arrow, chat. Nice. A glitch potion! On take damage, add seven spikes. I mean, maybe I take the healing instead. Then again, seven spikes. I've been taking damage. It's risky, it's risky. But I get my first arrow chat, so that's kind of nice. It does, like, no damage, though. Because I've got no space in my inventory. Now I go to the forge. Three damage to a weapon, connected to energy to a clothing. Energy to a clothing? Now, hear me out, chat. An archer build's meant to be very empty in their inventory. It's meant to be very glass cannon. But I wouldn't say no to energy to a clothing, so the greaves might be the right play. It might just be the right play, but I need to sell crap. So I think... Wait, it doesn't have any... Wait. The tunic's the only thing I can add it to? Son of a biscuit. I'm gonna go check this. Another luck ring. Okay, I'll put that here. <gasps> clothing! The glove counts as clothing. I can add damage to arrows. That is true. I know this arrow is going to suck. And I know there's better arrows in the game. But you're right. I could add damage to the arrows instead of the bow. I like the glove. And hear me out, chat. The glove's good because I can put the energy on this and it only is costing me one square of space. But what do I give up for it? I think I give up the cleaver for it. Or I give up a luck ring. Snow's not powering up ranged weapons. Not yet, not yet. I'll get there, I'll get there. I'm making tough decisions on loot. Cleaver go by way, but I want to sell it. That's my issue. I need to go to a shop and sell it. The luck ring could get me more ammo. Okay, I'm not gonna sell it. I'm just gonna leave it. Okay, chat. What I do is add energy to the glo- What? The glove's not clothing? You've gotta be kidding me. This game has a weird way with words. It's only the tunic. Um, yeah, it's def- it's technically armor. 
Love isn't clothing. Of course not. You don't put it on your body and you don't wear it. I think I have to go with the tunic, even though I don't like the tunic as much as I would like something else. It's noted on the item. Yeah, I know it says armor underneath glove. And it says clothing armor underneath tunic, but, you know. <sighs> Fine. We go with the tunic. And then we add extra damage to the arrow. Right? It doesn't do much, but it'll do a little bit. Yeah, let's see how it goes, chat. Maybe it was a mistake, maybe not. The Bramble final is going to be a bit tricky, though. Oh god, it's the boss right away. I don't know if the potion's the right choice. The bow shoots for free? Yeah, it does. The bow shoots for free once per turn. So, it's, it's a little bit of chip damage. The bow can shoot multiple times, but it costs more per turn because it's this bow specifically. You have three dodges? Oh, it's at the start of the combat. Okay. So the bow is a great start to get rid of his dodges. Okay, that's good. Do I go with the glitch potion now? I kind of want to do it at the end of the fight, but I'm, I really want to see if it's worth it. I'm going to have to do it eventually. One gold when you kill an enemy. That was not really worth it. But, uh, okay. Fair enough. Uh, at least 5 HP is destroyed. Wait. Skipping the curse is cheaper than using the curse. That's a... That doesn't seem like it's intended to be right. 10, 14, that's exactly how much I have. So let's go with... Um, Spiky Club. There's no way he's going to block. 30 heal? Huh! I'm just stacking up the slows. 14 damage and 14 armor again. I mean, the glove was a good pickup. He's going to start getting worse. Uh, 5, but 5 damage. I'll skip the curse and take 5 damage immediately anyways. Uh, I do have to worry, because he's going to start hitting me harder. I do like the extra energy. I'm not... The only thing I'm surviving with is because of this energy chat. He's healing, what can I do? Nine. Two, four, and then I get one gold. By killing him, right? I didn't even get the gold. What? It says, on a cleaver kills a non-summon enemy, one gold. It didn't count on the boss. I feel ripped off. Each adjacent or diagonal consumable deal one damage. Nope. 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 These are all bad. And screw that cleaver for screwing me over. You get it? No, I was at 19 uh, gold, and then I got 6 gold for killing the dude. I don't think I got the plus 1. If I'd get 1 gold for any enemy, I'd beat out of 1 gold. Just Bavarian. <laughs> Yeah. Was I at 18? I thought I was at 19. Okay, well then you might be right. You might be right, Blood Mess. I thought I was at 19. Okay, all good, man. Then the cleaver's not bad, but I think the spicy ginger is better to sell. I just don't have space for anything else. Because I keep all this luck and it's not doing anything for me. Come on, luck. There is a healer which will give me... Oh, do I heal fully or maximum? I think I heal fully because... Yeah, I don't have um, much regen on this build. Give me bows! Damn it. King of... Ring of Doom. That sounds really good. Just getting more luck, though. Sadly, I have to give up on the Apprentice Staff, but it's only 7 damage at one part of the game. 
Uh, I know it's mana use, so I don't have any mana. But I can just sell it. And would you look at that? There's a shop right away. And he's selling useless crap. So let's sell him the ginger. 17. Sell him the ring of doom. And sell him the splint, because I'm not using that. So it's three legendary items. Take it. Uh, heart ring is just five max HP. I'd like to buy the lucky ring for six bucks. Because nothing else here is useful in the slightest. So let's buy a lucky ring and hopefully this luck beats me out, chat. Come on. It can't be that bad. Oh, hello. 10 damage to all enemies. I think I just beat him with a club. Why didn't you buy the... What bow? Bavarian? You're joking. I saw no bow. Why didn't I reorganize? I'm reading chat, did I not- wait, what? Chat, you're confusing me. You're confusing me. The snowman is getting confused. What did I miss? I'm on autopilot now for more damage on bow. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, okay. I'm just on autopilot and completely losing my mind now. And you guys are confusing me. <laughs> on use gives six block. No, that shield's better. Do, 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 do. Adjacent weapons get plus one damage as combat. Sure. Because that's all I've got for the moment. And then I can sell the right. Oh, I can't. I'm full. Hello. You're not going to be doing any damage to me, so I'm going to kill your friend. Yep, get wrecked. Try not to die. There's none, or was there, Bavarian? Thanks. <laughs> That's all I can say. I don't know what to say. Uh, three spikes, can I kill him in time? No, they're freaking healing! Stop healing! Pain in the ass. 18 healing. Okay, I can deal with that. There's a club I don't want. Okay, he's dead. He's fleeing. I think I get the experience for him as well. Maybe. Maybe not. <gasps> found another arrow. Oh, I found the robot. Oh, the robot's nice to sell. Found the cool wizard staff, which is nice, but I can't do much with it. Uh, let's take the arrow. Which doesn't like me, because I've got no empty spaces to the right. Okay, that's two arrows for shot. Why not the darts? What darts? Oh, this thing! Oh, for the... I'm saving that for, like, the boss... I mean, that was a boss fight. But I didn't really need it to stay alive. Like, I took no damage from that fight. You can't sell the one to the trader. Yes, yes, no, no, the trader is full, so I can't sell anything to the trader just yet. Yes, I am 100% aware of that. I haven't lost my mind about that one completely just yet. But you guys said there was a bow here, and I don't trust you. Thank you, Bavarian. I don't trust you in the slightest. There, There is literally no bow. I'm not going insane, chat. I'm not insane. 
I will keep reminding myself that I'm not insane. Uh, do I go for question mark and the healing? No. I go for the fight and the loot. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Hello. How do I deal with that? I kill the guy in the middle, right? On take damage adds three blocks to all enemies. Okay, that's annoying. But it seems like he's the most annoying one to deal with. So I think I use the dart in this fight, right? Yeah, I think I dart this fight. Oh, every time he takes a hit, he heals himself. That's so annoying. Uh, 9 plus 10 is 19 plus 4 is enough for me to sacrifice a bit of health. God, that's annoying. Maybe I don't sacrifice health. I can kill him next turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I kill him this turn. Sheesh, that was annoying. I like that the arrows shoot twice, that's pretty cool. Reorganize for a poison potion? No, thank you, I'm fine. Oh, it's six spikes. Oh, and the bow attacks twice. Oh, but it doesn't... Yes, projectiles don't trigger the... Projectiles don't trigger spikes! Yeah. Yeah, I learned that not too long ago. That's always nice. Bows be cheatin', chat. They be cheatin' always. Yeah. They can keep stacking their spikes all they want. Eight plus nine is seventeen. Let's let him have his turn. Let him have his turn. Recommend regarding your build to collect more bows and arrows. I do agree, Bavarian. That does seem like the right course of action. Unfortunately, my current bow build does seem to suck a bit. I will be honest. Reorganize for a roof. No, I don't think I will. Okay, he's dead. That took some time. Give me more ranged weapons. Why does this game not like me? What did I do to this game to deserve no ranged weapons? Actually, you know what? I might take the spikes. Oh, but the Needler could be sold for money. Goods and services. 7 damage, 2 poison to an enemy, minus 1 damage this turn. But the club is actually good. I'll keep the club. Ugh. Give me some loot, game. I have, like, five lucky rings. And you're giving me another lucky ring! <laughs> That's not what I'm using lucky rings for. I'm not using lucky rings to get lucky rings. It's not the economy I'm looking for. Add one regen to a ring, actually, with my lucky rings. Two burn to a weapon, but I don't have any more stacks. I do on the bow arrow, but I don't really want to. I might have three damage to the arrow, though. Regen to a ring. Regen to a second lucky ring. And then I think I'm happy. Wrong way of the argument. It's not what you did to deserve getting no bows. It's what did you do to deserve it. Yes. Yes. Ah. <sighs> Okay, so I've got two regen rings. I could go for a third, but I think I might need the money. I just have a feeling. This is a horrible build. Oh dear, I probably should have gone for the shot first. How do you have 50 armor? Oh, because these guys are the tanks. Uh, I need to kill her first. 
Oh dear. Five plus five is ten. If she poisons me, I can get rid of it with Cleansing Rag, so that's not the end of the world. I don't like the curse, though. That's a really bad curse. But I have regen, so I can take the curse problems. Oh god, they're gonna attack me. Um... Yeah, let's be safe about it. She's only healing 9, it's not that bad. Now she dies. Nice! Nice. And then it's GG from here, right? I've got infinite regen. You're gonna try and smack me. I will say no. Nice! Got it! I mean, this build isn't that bad. I mean, the cleansing rag's helping me even though I'm trying to sell it. But, yeah, it's not, not the end of the world. Okay... Rats don't eat flies. I don't know what that's useful for. The dice will save me. It's legendary. Legendary, of course. I'm gonna sell that for sure, but why do I abandon... Wait, I could just dice this. There's another arrow. I just lost the legendary. I got a key, though. I lost the legendary. What's with this luck? This luck is useless! <laughs> it didn't reroll. <laughs> Oh, I'm sad, chat. I'm sad. Uh, the reroll was not worth it. I mean, the last roll I did wasn't the worst thing in the world, but this roll was bad. Okay, he's dead. You're giving me a curse. I don't want it. It's no being sad because Warden Disease's treatment is going so well. Yeah, the treatment's horrible. I don't recommend it. It's not going well at all. Okay, the regen's doing good though. Keep it up. Yeah, I'm skipping that curse. I'm taking a lot of damage, chat, but I'm gonna be fine. Because the regen will prompt me back up. You're doing 11 damage to me? I don't care. I'm just gonna heal it back up. Uh, I probably should just kill her here. Because I don't want to take another curse. <gasps> Upgraded arrow. Is it worth it? Empty space above. What? What? Oh! 
I didn't know you could rotate bows. And it would change the way they fire. I didn't know that was a thing! I never knew that was a thing. I mean, I'm glad I did it correctly the first time. Because that would have been embarrassing. Okay, well that, that is a false piece of hope. Because my current arrows are better. The, uh, the feather cap's awesome. I do like the feather cap. Do I give up on the key? Yeah, I can give up on the key here. And I can give up on the cleansing wand. Yeah, that makes me sad. Yeah, the air is a false glimmer of hope, sadly, at this point. Come on, merchant, don't fail me. I sell you the robot. You offer me the mana stone. Of course you do. And the flame gem. Oh, actually the flame gem's not bad. That's actually not bad. Uh, I sell him the spike scale, because I'm not going to use that. Do I sell him the cleansing rag? I don't know. I mean, the pickaxe is cool as well, but none of these are helpful. Except for maybe the gem. Yeah, but pickaxe requires space. <laughs> I'm full of stupid luck. Adds four block per turn. Is this clothing? It's a helmet. No. Uh, maybe I sell the feather cap, just so I can have more space. Do I trust in the build, chat? Yeah, I trust in the build. It also produces random gems like Legendary 2, Energy 2, yeah. Take a bow. Thanks, Bavarian, for that lovely insight. <sighs> Creates a gem each turn. Yeah, I know the pickaxe is good, but... I'm not going for a gem build, but then again... Gems do buff arrows. But then I have to deal with all this luck problem. And I've got no space. Yeah, I shouldn't. Oh, especially not the upgraded. I've only got two upgraded rings. I'm definitely not selling those. But now I have a little bit of space in my inventory, so these arrows are going to do a little bit more. So let's check the loot. Oh, of course, when I get rid of the key. Ugh, oh, gotta slap myself sometimes. That's not fair. That's not fair, chat. I'm being punished. Did I kill the frog? Yeah, sure. Because it might get me more XP. Smith's of luck. Yeah, well, I'm a horrible smith, then. The cursed smith. Oh, yeah, I can hit him again. I'll regen it back. You can hit me for some damage, buddy, but I'll hit you back. And that's GG. Like, the bow is doing good for me. I just... I know it can be better. Steel boots? I've never seen those before. They're better than the Greaves? 
Weapons in this column get plus one damage. Each space spell gets plus two block. Yeah, they're twice as good as the Greaves. Not bad. Sapphire is not helpful at the moment. And I just want to sell these Greaves. Oh, but I think I already sold everything I can to Buddy over here. But, I can go to this one. Hi, dude. You better not be a problem. I've got tons of block. That's right. The sapphire sells for 17 or 12. Oh, nice. Oh, uh, do I take 11 damage here? No, I should probably just take the curse. Yeah, we got this. All gems sell for much. Nice! I thought they were just selling for the same as everything else. So, that was my understanding, but then, obviously... Incorrect. Uh, what are you giving me? The same curse. Sure. I'll easily take that. This guy's not bad. He's actually an easy boss. Oh, I gotta take this curse. Chat. I think we finally got it. I don't know how to use this one, though. It says it destroys an item on the left, so I need to keep giving it a million bits of ammo. How do I get infinite ammo? Finally, the luck pays off. I, I want this. I, I want this. This just constantly consumes items. That's not a bow. The game is a scam. Stop playing it. Hey, Bavarian, you said to buy the bow. I bought the bow! Does it need to be ammo destroyed? It doesn't need to be ammo? I can shoot armor? Oh my god. Oh my god. Shut! <laughs> this thing is amazing! Holy crap, I can shoot armor at people. I don't want to destroy the armor, so this is what I need, chat. I need to build things. I need to leave stuff that I don't want to die. And specifically, there's a lot of things I don't want to die in this, this inventory. Which is over here. But all these things can die. Holy crap. Holy crap. That's interesting. Is it permanent damage, though? That's the thing. For each space destroyed, I'm this, this gets this much damage. How do I make this viable? I need to keep the arrows. So I just need... Wait, maybe it's not as good as I'm thinking, but I do want it. I want to, I want to work around this. This is cool. This will keep my inventory nice and clean, I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that. Let's try it out on this one. Ammo with armor, yeah. Here we go, chat. A 
Okay, it's not permanent. It's whatever I have. It just kills. So, that was nice. I just destroyed those greaves. Fair enough. But that means I can turn crap into amazing damage. Yeah, I like that. It's like a ace in the hole sort of thing. I just need to get really fat items and launch them. It's weird. Curses? Nah, it probably doesn't shoot curses. Because it says it destroyed item and curses aren't items. But it would be cool if it was curses. And also I'd need to reorganize a lot because I can't keep shooting the same item that's adjacent. The item below is destroyed. I might have a way of setting it up. That item to the right is destroyed so it just does it in like a straight line. Because the below wasn't the right choice, but I did it because I wanted to get rid of those shoes. <laughs> oh, here we go. Damn. Well, now it begins, chat. Now it begins. The reorganization to have everything die. Oh, wait, I need to get rid of some luck. Combat ends, give some luck. Uh, the wizard cap is going to be sold. Oh my goodness. Short arrow. It only does 15 damage if it's a single attack, so it's not as good, but it does upgrade. It does have... it has zero upgrades. I can't upgrade this weapon? Huh. I just keep chucking weapons at enemies, though. Bigger item shoots the bigger damage. Yeah, yeah, it, it does. So it's 30 damage if I do it like that. But I'm going to keep the luck for a little bit longer. Hopefully. Let's see how this works. Can I forge... The Ballista. Can't be forged. Mm -hmm. You know what I need, chat? I need an item. I need something that makes items. And then the Ballista will forever be good. To block to a shield, haste to a structure, rage to a melee weapon. Four to space would do like 60 damage like the armor. Yeah, but the problem is the four space is four space. And I don't have that amount of space. Which makes me sad. Let's go to the merchant. Uh, sell the wizard cap. What? Pacifist ring? Whenever a weapon is used, you destroy the pacifist ring, but it gives you one energy per turn. Uh, that's stupid. Unless you build a pacifist build? Oh, a tank build. Yeah, the tank build that I've played before. Yeah, that's pretty disgusting. Yeah. Yeah, Spike's build, which is a build I love to use. So yeah, that would be the only one that makes sense. Okay, how do we win this? Obviously, we do 30 damage to you, because you're a pain in the ass. And then what? You're doing 14, I can live with it. The curse, I could probably... 
mana, I can't do that. So Curse has got to give me 12 damage. damage. <gasps> I got rid of my shield. Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, I got rid of my shield. Oh, I'm taking a lot of damage. I'll survive, but I am taking a lot more damage than I wanted to. Luckily, chat, luckily, I do have regen, which is the only thing that's going to keep me alive right now. So, I'm glad I've got regen. Also, why do you have so much flipping armor, man? Okay, that stops you from being annoying. <laughs> that took long to realize. No, I destroyed the shield on purpose. But then forgot it was a bad idea. So, yeah. There's that. Yeah, the regen is keeping me toasty. Whenever I see regen and add it to rings, oh, it's beautiful. Okay, he's dead, I take no damage, and then we're fine. Industry rate exchange for the other items to shoot? Oh. I was pretty sure I used it as an as a shooty tooty. Not a shooty, as a shooting option. But yes. Uh you can take a little bit of slow. And then that's GG. I'm full health. And you die. Level up, very good. That's some more space that we need. Oh, I needed the key. I desperately needed the key, chat. I can take two keys. A bag of shurikens when combat ends creates a shuriken. <gasps> that creates free items for the ballista. That's exactly what I wanted, chat. That's exactly what I wanted. No freaking way did I get the item I wanted. I left it on back on behind. Oh, no, no, I left the item behind. Oh, okay, well, then that makes sense. But look at that. Free items. Move the Ballista for more damage for arrows? Yes. But actually, this doesn't change the damage. It's still 9. It's not adjacent empty, it's empty. So, actually, it doesn't matter where I put the Ballista. Ballista on the left is better, because then I can stack more items in front of it. That I want to destroy. But, good thinking, though. Good thinking. Uh, cleansing Rag, I want to get rid of... Now what? That's probably it. Unless I get like a better bow or something. No. Nope. But I can shoot off clear cleavers and crap, so that's not bad. <laughs> oh, and I can shoot off the shield. Oh my goodness, chat. I can shoot the shield. Yep. I'm okay with this. Time to go fight these guys and shoot the shield. Stick to the bow, yep. To sell the ballista. No, 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 no. Because I can do this. Do I do it right now? Yeah, let's do it now. Okay, he's dead. Uh, and then... 15 damage for you. And 15 damage for you. And you're not dead because you're a jerk. So, die. Thank you. Yeah, Ballista. And then I get a free shuriken at the end of combat anyway, so... Nice. 
Easy. We're going a bit more in a DPS build shot. I believe in the DPS. Also, I believe in more space. That would be nice. Uh, let's skip the curse. There's a crossbow. That's nice. But I don't see a use for that in our current build, sadly. I need to heal up, so I'm letting this guy stick around for a bit longer. And then now I kill him. Reorganize is good for the Ballista. Oh, yeah, that's true. Reorganize is not a bad idea for Ballista. Okay. Dagger, dagger, and... Creates shurikens in empty adjacent spaces. That could be good for free shurikens. But I need a lot of space for that to create extra shurikens. Hmm. 4 times 60 is 60. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So 4 times is really good for... But I don't have space for it. But I know, I totally agree. You want the big stuff. Arm to the left gets plus two block. That's actually really nice. How do I get that into my build? Mm, but then again, it's not really that worth. It's worth selling, but it's not worth anything else. Oh, and there's the free shuriken that I got from the bag of shurikens. The gloves can go? But the gloves give me six block. This would give me two block. Nah, no, 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 the glove is good. Tunic has the plus one energy. The boots give me five block. Yeah, no, these three are, like, crucial. I gave up on the shield, which I probably shouldn't have. But other than that, this shield's not as good, I don't think. So I think I'm okay with this. And then now I go back to the cool chest. Which I can unlock. Please be good. I mean, I'll sell that, but that seems kind of useless, unless you have a very empty... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Has full inventory, still opens the chest. Exactly, chat, exactly. Full inventory ain't gonna stop me. Wait, hear me out, chat, I have an idea. I might be able to abuse this. I can never put anything in this spot or this spot again, but because of my bow build needing a lot of space, I will be able to get a ton of free space... No, I don't need that. Um, because... Uh, do I keep the key? I could keep the key. Because the Ballista will empty space for the arrows to do bonus damage. So Ballista will be start of the turn, clear out all the crap, and then the bow finishes up with better damage. Oh, but I need the club to help me later on in the fight. Fudge. Wait. 
How did I screw this up? There we go. I give up on the key. Make sure you keep the rings the regen. Yeah, yeah, I've got the two at the regen here. I did make sure, Wolfang. Thanks, man. I didn't want to forget those. Those are super crucial to keeping me alive. But this, this seems right. Oh, putting the Crimson Energy here would mean I would never have to... Oh, I see what you mean. I still have one space closer to armor. For something. Oh, in these spaces... No, no, no. With these spaces, I want to keep empty for the bonus damage on the arrows. Put the key under the ballista. I could put the key here. And do this. And then, therefore, the Crimson Energy only does the one space. And then the Blista kills one, two, three. Then I have a decent amount of space. And then I put the key down here. That could work. I think this is better. I, I give up on the Bag of Shurikens, which kind of sucks. But I'm just using up loot from whatever is in combat, I think, is probably better. I'm giving up on a lot of luck. This one on the right of armor doesn't work for damage. What? Only a left one. What? What are you talking about? The steel boots is boosting damage. Look at that. The steel boost is actually boosting the damage of these things. So the boots are in the right spot. The tunic's in the right spot because it's actually boosting the boots. The arrow tip direction? Free spaces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why the daggers are going to die. And then these are the free spaces. <laughs> Yay, I know what you're saying. And once the ballista explodes these three items, this is going to get more damage. And this is going to get more damage. But because the tunic is not able to push down, and the club can't be pushed down, you know, but you don't know. Well, there's nothing I can do to maximize it, other than what I've got at the moment. Yeah, this is the best I can do it. Space the regular armor doesn't do bonus damage. Yeah, it does. No, 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 you're not listening, Blood Mess. I, I said this earlier. <laughs> Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. This says it deals 9 bonus damage. If I move the armor here, it's still 9 bonus damage. It doesn't matter how which empty spaces are connected or not connected. It still does nine bonus. You're talking about this, the shield? You don't mean moving the armor. The space right to the armor doesn't work as bonus damage. I, I don't know what you're talking about, man. <laughs> There's nothing I can do to improve this, because I can't move the armor down. This space is empty, this space is empty, this will be empty, this will be empty. I appreciate you trying to help, but I don't know. The space above the lucky ring put something there. That. But it's gonna take damage away. It goes down to eight. That's nine. That's eight. That's what I've been saying this whole time. Is that it doesn't matter if the space is connected. That this arrow is every single space. See, that's why I don't know what you're talking about. I was like, no, I'm right. <laughs> but I appreciate you trying. It seems like Snow's in the correct. Yes, I know. What a weird concept. <laughs> but thank you for your efforts. Um, unfortunately, I was in the correct this time. Uh, do I need a heal? Yeah, f one health doesn't hurt. You're right, it is for the two of the- oh, well, for the other arrows, okay. Yeah, for this one, for this arrow, it's it's explaining that it says whatever space is the empty space. We played last time, it was only three from the arrows. Oh, they did update the game a little bit, but I don't know if that's something they patched. They might have patched it just because it might be too annoying. Big arrows work like that. Then maybe it's the big arrows, yeah. I don't have much of an experience with the big arrows too much. But it's boss time, chat, so let's see how this works. 
What the heck is this? Speaker interprets the will of the Dark Lady. Okay, so she's crazy. And uh, is summoning friends. So why don't I just, like, you know, shoot ballista stuff at her? Yeah, ballista's pretty good, chat. We got it down to 90 health. Oh, sorry, 83 health. Because, obviously, the Crimson Energy is going to keep giving me even more energy. You're dumber the longer you don't sleep. That's alright, it's 5 o'clock in the morning, man. And I haven't slept. So, I I could have been in the wrong there, but I, I was pretty sure I had the right thing. Which is good, because I thought I was going insane. But with our two sleepy powers combined... Can I do 4 times 7 is 28? That's not enough. Son of a... I'm gonna take a lot of damage. Ten plus twelve is twenty-two. And two times seven is fourteen. Are you kidding me? She's on three health! That sucks. Where do you stream from that it's 5 a.m.? Uh, the land of Down Under. The, the, the spider-infested place. But we do win, chat, so that's nice. Except I took a ton of damage because I couldn't kill three damage on her. Ugh. That sucks. What do we get? Minus 200 to the cost of reorganizing in combat. That isn't the worst thing in the world. All consumables get three rage, and no shields get plus two spikes. Uh, I don't like any of those. I don't. Why do they not give me anything good? Where's the bow one that I always get on every other, every other run? I get the bow one. But yes, good day, man. Good day. <laughs> I'm a Canadian living in Australia, so no worries. The Netherlands, yes, the Netherlands. Straight twenty six hours, no sleep. Oof. Yeah, I need dices for this stupid list, because it always hates me. I'm going to go with organized list, and then never use it, and probably sell it. Because I don't want any of these. Yeah, it's it's the only one that's slightly useful. Uh, let's go healer, and just heal me. And please give me something good. There goes all my luck, chat. This is the boss loot, chat. This right here is boss loot. You've got to be kidding me. I get better loot off of freaking normals. For in battle reorganize for ballista shots. Yes, so I could I could organize for ballista shots, but Oh wait, I meant to use this for shooting things. There we go. So I will take the loot. I'm sad about it, but I'll still take it. Please give me better loot than the last one. This is better than the boss loot. Ooh, Tunic's big. Tunic is big damage, boys. That's gonna shoot off the moon. It's gonna shoot nicely. An organized list is the crimson thing, yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, uh this is this is looking rough. Hello. Uh I shoot you with 61 damage. And then 46 damage, or do I shoot him with the double and then smack him here? And then shoot you with the 46. Yeah, that's better. And the reorganized list is still going to be useless for me in this part of the fight. Sadly. Uh, you're going to curse me because you're a jerk? Okay. But I killed him, so... Ha! Uh, we get a knight's armor. We get a key... 
Ethereal Staff is... If that used mana, I would be very interested. Close to a level up? Mm, kind of. Why, why is this not... The Earth Shivens Row. If it used mana, that'd be great. Or magic arrows, yeah. Because I love the fact that it creates something for the Ballista, but it costs an energy, and that's too expensive for me. That's too expensive. <laughs> I can shoot mana stones at people. I'm okay with that. Shopping, what do you got for me, bud? Anything good? Oh my freaking goodness! We finally got it. Okay, I need to redo everything that I'm doing, chat. Finally get the Hawkeye bow. That took forever. So, how do I do this? I don't have enough arrows. I need a lot more arrows. It's a three by one. I know, that's the problem. I don't have space. I need to level up. I can come back to him. Wait a minute, chat. No need to panic. I can come back. I can totally come back. There's more arrows being sold. Okay, that's good. So I can go full glass cannon. There's a fish sword also being sold. It's on sale, surprisingly. Welcome to the forge. Add extra weapon burn. Regen to a ring. Nice. Uh, but let's go and fight stuff. Uh, no, I don't want to talk to you yet, buddy. I need to level up. Uh, we shoot 16 damage, then we kill you with 61, and then who dies to 46? You will die to 46. Nice. Easy fight. Give me good loot. Uh, I'll take the luck just because. I'll take another glove just because. Oh, I've been getting minus energy because I put this in the wrong spot. I'm an idiot. Oh, I forgot about this stupid crimson energy. I need to sell this list. I also need more arrows. Uh, that's what I'm hunting for. 100% arrows. No, I don't care about you. Uh, I need loot. Oh, it's a stupid mimic. Well, he dies next turn anyways. Nice. Oh, hello, Legendary Axe. For each adjacent item, do plus one damage. Nah, that's not really that great. But I'll sell it. <coughs> that's shootable and the fish to heal. Nice. Okay, let's go sell. How did the hockey game go? Oh, the hockey game was great. Uh, it was our first game of the season. Oh, that costs one gold to use. Wait! Wait! It doesn't cost energy to use it? Are you kidding me? I have 170 gold. I could use this 170 times in a single fight. What? That's broken.
You had this one, realized too late, ran out of gold. Damn, that's good. But yeah, that's that's one you can build a team out of. Oh, do I switch over, chat, or are we just going to stay with bows? Anyways, to explain the hockey game. Yes, we uh, had our very first hockey game of the season. It was really, really fun. Uh, starting with a brand new team, so learning new people and having fun with it. Uh, I got a shutout, which was awesome. We won 2-0, uh, I think it was 2-0. And, uh, yeah, it was, it was a good game. Definitely good to have a shutout to start the season with. So, yeah, it was lots of fun. Hyped up for sure, and the team was just on fire in terms of their energy. Definitely got a boost after winning that game. So hopefully that carries us through the rest of the season. <laughs> uh, I'm selling the organized list. I did want to sell that. Good. Do I sell this axe, or do I stay bow? I mean, I've been bow the entire way. I've got to go bow. This axe is really good. How far am I in the way to the run? We're really close to the end. Hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, I need to think about something, chat. And the thing I need to think about is, how do I maximize my DPS? I can only do it with a level up. Uh, Fire Gecko. That might level me up. So, if I level up, I have a strategy. I think I sell the axe. Uh, as much as I think it's a really powerful weapon at this stage of the game with this much money, I sell it so I can get... the Hawkeye bow. Actually, wait, this composite bow is still really good. Yeah, let's not get rid of the Hawkeye bow just yet. I mean, the, the composite bow. Yeah, I have an idea. Maybe not a good idea, but it's an idea. This activates those arrows. That activates those arrows. I need to get more arrows. And I know I can buy some from the other merchant. Because you're selling arrows, and I can also sell other things to you. here, you go here. You're gonna shoot all of those arrows. <coughs> no, that's screwing up my energy. Uh... No, and that's screwing up my luck. Okay, you go out of the way. Uh, you go in here. It's hard to manage this, but I think I've got the gist of it. But I do need to level up for space, so let's go do a fight. I know, it's... I know, it's too many flippin' items. Okay, how am I gonna do this? I need to kill you first, apparently. Let's shoot that. Let's shoot that. Nice. I like this Hawkeye bow. This is going to be very nice. Adjacent items you use destroy. Do I take 16 damage? No. I use this. Yep, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. 
So we should still win here. Same problem in BB, yes, yes. The same problem indeed. Nice, nice. And now I have the level up. Okay, so from here I need to do a strategy. And the strategy is if I go up, can't even go any higher. I can go lower. Going lower here is right, because then I move this here, that goes down, but then it doesn't link to the torso. But then I could do arrows over here. That might be the right play, because then I can put this gem here. That keeps the middle spot done. And I can put three arrows here. Three arrows here. The glove... Oh, I would like the glove over here as well. No, the glove doesn't work there. Three arrows here. Gloves. Three arrows here works. Uh, the torso doesn't mix with this, does it? It kind of does. Yeah, it does, it does. It's just annoying. Then I might give up on the Ballista, which is weird. I still want the those. Doesn't matter where I put this, but I think this is the right spot. Yeah. Because then this happens with this. I just need more arrows. Just make two or three to side, place gems separate, like from everything. Yeah, I just want it to be on the side so it's not in the way. Uh, you stay here, so that helps with the diagonal. And then the gloves stay where they are. That's going to do some nice damage. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, uh, the yellow rose is really cool. Crossbow is useless. As much as I love this ballista, I think I have to get rid of it, which feels weird. Uh, the key's not in the way of the energy because the energy takes this spot. So that's why I put the energy here so it's not in the sideways. So yeah, there's nothing bothering the energy anymore, which is good news. And then all I have to do is... I just need more arrows. And no one's gonna sell me arrows. Uh, what do I sell? I think I sold the blue. I don't want to, but I do need to, don't I? Maybe I don't need to. No, maybe I don't. I'll play it risky. Yeah, I've got a good bow build. The bow build's actually coming along now that I have the, the legendary item. But I think because I don't have enough ammo, I'm gonna play it safe. Oh, there's a key I could use. Hello. Speaking of ammo, that's an archer's wand. Oh, but it costs mana. Stupid. Stupid wand. I'm gonna shoot that at people with a ballista. Oh, there's a shiv. Nice. I'm gonna shoot that at people with a ballista, too. Okay, shiv, you put yourself... Wait. Okay, you get shot at people until I get a better build.
<laughs> the triple bow. It's so nice. Hey, I can get rid of the spiked club. Because now I have triple bow, and it only costs one. Okay, we found something else we can get rid of this inventory chat. That's not bad. Yeah, the bow's build's good. Yep. Okay, we finally have it, chat. Spike club goes away. Spike club stays here so I can shoot it at somebody. Sapphire's useless. So I put a flower in so I can shoot it. Okay, okay, progress. Inventory gets smaller. Bigger. Less items means bigger. Of course. Nice. Tough fight, damage projectiles are reduced by. Oh, yes, the counter to my build. People who have tough hide, of all things. But now he's got spikes and I just ignore them. Oh no, he still has tough hide. Never mind. But I still damage him enough, it's fine. <clears throat> there we go. Give me more ammo. Yes! This is what I've been looking for, chat. Eight damage. Seven damage. Eight damage. Okay, so yeah, it's changed, which is nice. Uh, that's good. I found another Crimson Energy. Chat. I have too much energy now. Why did I just get a second one? You're kidding. I'm selling this Ballista. I have to sell it now. It's all over. This is just GG. Also, this is where that's meant to be. And that's meant to be there. Yep. It's, it's over. We win. That's just too good. Uh, we go to the forge. Please tell me I can buff something. Three damage to a weapon. Uh, energy to clothing. Oh, can I do it again? <laughs> There's two energy on the tunic. Okay, yeah, this is... This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Do I go for damage on the arrow, or do I go for... Yeah, damage is all I've got. Okay, I need to find a shop. Someone get me a shop, please. I'm a little bit desperate now. Let's go Rudy Tootie. I've got eight... No, I've got seven... I have seven energy. Big arrow's more multiplier? Yes. So the big arrow does 10 damage, while the little arrows do 9 damage. 10 damage and 6 damage. So, yeah, I mean, once I get rid of the ballista, the big arrow's gonna do a little bit more, but the multiplier's not, like, that much. It's a little bit, but it's not insane. Oh, no, I did something stupid. Oh, never mind, he's dead. <laughs> oh, chat. Why was I worried? I'm doing so much damage. I beat them in one round! You're kidding me. Well, that worked. Uh, I'm safe to say that I think we're doing pretty good, chat. I think it's safe to say. When a weapon kills an enemy, add six rage to self. <coughs> I think that's okay, because I've got regen, so this is actually a good item. And rage means on every single damage that I do. So, I'm keeping this. Because that's free damage. Not bad, not bad. I don't want to sell these, so the ballista can just... Live a different life now.
Oh, the rage. So close to winning. So close. It's okay, he's dead. Uh, any new ammo? No. There is a new pearl? Weapon two spaces away, get plus four damage. No, I can't do that. But I can sell it, so... Oh, no, actually, wait. Yeah, that's... I'll keep it. You know what? I'll keep it. Give me a merchant. Where's the merchant? No, you're a... Oh my goodness, you're a boss. Would love it if you died, buddy. As I'm doing insane rage damage. I might have to find more ways of stacking rage, and I think this this might just go crazy, chat. <clears throat> yeah, that's a lot of damage. Hello? Adjacent weapons get plus three damage to combat as a consumable. No. No, I don't need any of these. Where's the shop? Where's the shop? I can't see the shop. Come on, Rage, activate. Let's go, Rage. It does 20 damage a pop. That's ridiculous. I love it. Okay, and one shot. Bye, buddy. Uh, the Rogue's Mask. I remember this. You get one dodge per turn. Ooh, left glove. Uh, I like the rogue's mask. I think I'll take it, just maybe to sell it, but more importantly, just because... Maybe I use it in case of emergencies? Maybe. I found the shop, finally, in this... Two bosses chasing my ass. Uh, we sell the archers one because I don't want it. There's a new bow? It's only plus three damage. Expert bow is not as good. I think Hawkeye bow is better. Ah, uh, there's no freaking ranged ammunition. They're not giving me anything good, chat. Uh, cleansing can go away. I keep the necklace. But I sell the ballista. And now, <clears throat> that does 14 damage. The fish is useless to me. And I think that's GG. That's the build. I keep the mask in case of emergencies. And all I need now is maybe another, another arrow? Maybe? Maybe like two arrows would be nice. Yeah, two arrows would be nice. Because then I can move this forward, put an arrow behind it. Yeah. Yeah, that's not too bad. <clears throat> okay, onwards and upwards. We're going to take some damage here, so good thing I have the rogue's mask. I'm not going to take any damage. I'm too good. Holy crap, that's a lot of damage, chat. <clears throat> yeah, this, this tooth necklace actually goes pretty hard. 
I wasn't expecting six rage to make a big difference, but when you're shooting four arrows a turn... Oh my goodness, I can choose more spaces. Um... I go underneath, right? Because then that moves space for, like, rings and stuff. Yeah, that works. Uh, no ammunition sucks. The pickaxe I can sell. The key I might need. Let's put you two down here. Yeah, that works. And then we sell to you, because I think you still have a... No, son of a... You jerk. I thought I didn't sell you everything. Dang it. Fine. I can't afford the space. <laughs> I need the space for damage. I just dumped a ma I just dumped a legendary item on the floor, chat. What have I done? What have I done? I'm so ashamed. Is Mr. Chest from an elite encounter? You've done a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I've done a lot. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh. Okay. Uh, there we go. I still think that we've made a pretty good bow build here. So, I'm... I'm happy regardless. Oh, hello. Hey, that's what we're looking for. Damn. Uh, it doesn't fit. Oh, the pearl counts on it. Let's go. Nice. Now we have fire arrows, chat. We're losing energy? Nope. Nope. I fixed the energy problem. The energy is no longer an issue. It fits perfectly. Uh, the top hat is no longer a problem. And then, uh, yeah. Now we have fire. I am losing energy? How? Oh, because the item itself counts. Oh, damn it. Yeah, you're right. Well, that sucks. Why has it got to be like that? I forgot that they could disrupt each other. I thought it was safe. So much for me thinking it's safe. Okay, well, at least this is better. No, it's not, because then I have this. There we go. Man, having more than one energy token does really make it annoying. <clears throat> That's definitely the case. Gonna have to find some more spaces in my inventory. Uh, but there we go, we fixed it. Thanks, man. Uh, no, I don't want purses. There's another energy token. <laughs> Chat. What's this thing do? Creates a drink for free for two dollars. That's not bad, but I'll take another energy. What the hell is this? <coughs> Berserker Ring, if you're not using an armor or a shield, you get an energy per turn. That's tempting. How do I make another energy work, chat? <laughs> I can't be this greedy and get away with it. Can I? Is it possible? I don't think it's possible. I mean, I want to put it in one of these corners. 
then that kind of screws up a lot. I'd have to do it like this. Yeah, I can do it. Place energy tokens on the left, but the arrows on the right. I could put two energy tokens there. I mean, I had it pretty decent the first one. But why don't I do it like this, so these two slots are open. I know I'm missing something, and the thing I'm missing is... I want this bow to shoot these two arrows, but I can't, because I have a space problem. <clears throat> Put the pearl between the tips of the longer arrows? Yeah, but it doesn't work that way, because it's between two spaces away. So it doesn't actually bonus those two, it only bonuses like it from here. And I want a lot of empty space in between, so what am I doing? I can do it like this. See, that gives both of the arrows. <coughs> so the pearl works there very well. But then the composite bow doesn't do as much as I want it to do. Small ones are better to get the arrow bonus from? No. Oh, I mean the smaller bonus for the composite bow, yeah. Because they fit on the same line. I kind of screwed up with the Crimson Energy. If I could go one lower, maybe I could fix that. Is the comp vi bow viable except for the energy? Yes. Because it allows me to shoot... Four, uh, 7 plus 9 is 16. So it's 16 damage for a free shot. And if I take it away... What am I, get what am I losing? What am I gaining? From 11... 7 and 9 to be 8, 10, and 12. So yeah, from like 3 damage if it's not here, for a free 16 damage. So comp bow is very viable. Yeah, it's no energy to shoot the first time. And the Hawkeye bow is 1 energy every single other time. So I only shoot the comp bow once, and then the Hawkeye bow every single other time. So, very, very viable. The pearl's great. The fire arrow's not as good as I want it to be. Unless I switch it? No, I only still have the one spot. There we go, there we go. So that's two, that's two. That stacks fire better. Necklaces every single ammunition. Those two go there, that goes there. I have two spaces open. I need to get rid of this key, but other than that, I think the spaces are as good as I can get them. I'm taking two gloves because it just keeps me alive. I could get rid of them eventually, but I think it's just good to be safe. Yeah, that... that works, chat. It's weird, but it works. Necklace near the mask? It doesn't need to be. Like, if you want this... that's not worth it. Because I want the fire to have a few stacks, because then it stacks up on enemies. Because that adds 6 burn if I do this, that only adds 4 burn. So I think maximizing the fire arrow might be the right choice, because it stacks more than other arrows. Let's try this build out. Let's go for a normal fight. <clears throat> this is not a normal fight. That is two bosses. And that dude really gets a lot of rage. Thank goodness I can kill him.
Oh, but Rage only stacks with damage. So maybe Fire Arrow is bad. It's not bad, it's just not as good. Yeah, okay, so we're learning something sad. And that is status effects not good for Rage. Really? I'm getting all the good stuff now. Uh, that's kind of useless, though. I could sell it, but it's useless. Sapphire, Dark Whetstone, one time every turn weapons in this world get weak as combat. I'm gonna sell that? Oh, wait, I can't sell anymore on this level. Son of a biscuit. Okay, so I switch this over so you get more damage from 12... From 11 to 12. <laughs> that doesn't make much of a difference. But every little bit counts, I think. Okay. Uh, and then we beat up you. Oh dear, I don't like these two. Well, that worked. Um, <laughs> that's only like 300 damage a turn. It only stacks with kills. Yeah, yeah, it only works with kills. But, I mean... Oh, wait, I need to skip this curse, do I? No, because I have so much energy. That three energy barely dents what I own. So this, this build's pretty good. Uh, I do get electric arrows. That's what I was looking for. Oh, but it's only on mana stones? Damn. Damn, that sucks. That sucks a lot. I thought it was cool. Oh, I was another lucky ring, yeah. <laughs> As if I needed another one. The game keeps giving me too many. I'm trying to think if there's a way I can make this work, but I don't think there is. I think I just have to give up on it. Which sucks. Because I've got no way of stacking the damage. Like, I mean, it's an extra three damage, but it's not worth it. It's not worth it to try and reorganize my entire inventory with a light. Oh, hello, it's the final boss. Okay, I think we're ready. Let's do it, big dude. Oh, it's you again. Hundred. Holy crap. Then again. Hundred armor is pretty easy to get through. Oh, I should have gotten rid of this key. Could have done slightly one one extra more damage per hit. for an acidic potion? Nope, I'm good. Uh, you're gonna burn me too much, so let's kill you. Oh, and if I kill him, I get stacks. Yes. Minions be a source of damage for me. Yes, it is. They do count. It doesn't matter if it's a minion. Oh, that's broken. If it said only on non-summon kills, then that would really nerf that weapon. I mean, the, uh, the item. But, uh, yeah. Tooth Necklace actually pretty correct for this build. Can highly recommend it, chat. And you guys had the great idea of getting it, so I'm like, good on you. Good thinking. GG. Uh, what would I do for a level up here if we were going to continue? It would be... Probably here? No, that's a bad idea. That's a bad idea.
Actually, that's a good spot. Because then I could move this, move that over. Move that over, move that over, then I'd get an extra arrow in here. And I could even move back a space there. Actually, is that better? Because then I could move that there. No, that screws me up. That diagonal would move there, that would move there, that would move there. And then underneath for some space. That could work. So like this, this, this. That stays. That comes down. All bows get... Yes, that's the one I was looking for. Why didn't I get that earlier? <laughs> oh, dear. My man covered in snow. Hey, Mini Max, welcome to the stream, man. Good to see you. The man in snow finally has made a bow, bow build that's actually pretty good. Actually, not that bad. But the mouse wood is the thing I've been searching for this entire run, and we didn't even get it. We got crappy other things that reorganized our inventory. But this one's nice because it lets all of your bows get a, on first, the first arrow in the row to the right gets 150% bonus damage. All arrows get this play, fight effect. If there's an adjacent item, item is disabled. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, that's not good. <coughs> that means your arrows need to be non-adjacent to things? Okay, well, that's not that good. Oh. So, I guess I would have been disappointed anyways. I guess the relic was the only real choice. Um, but that's pretty good. I think we did pretty good today, chat. The bow build survived, the magic robot build survived, and uh, yeah, pretty keen on how far we got with this. I don't know if there's much more I can do to improve this build, I, I don't know if the mouse wood's the right play. Is this item disabled if it's got an adjacent item to it? No, or is it the adjacent item to the arrows? And it's no survive. I technically did survive, surprisingly. And I'm also... Oh, I actually am tired, though. It is only 6 o'clock in the morning, chat, and the sun has come up. Yeah, I, I probably do need to go to bed. That's probably an important step in my life journey. <laughs> only slightly important. The only thing I do want to figure out is... All arrows get this effect applied. If there's an adjacent item, item is disabled. Does that mean the item next to the arrow, or the... Oh, yeah. Wow. That's so annoying. What do you mean? That the adjacent item is disabled just because there's an item next to it. Mousewood, why do you have to be so difficult to rearrange for? Even though you're a decent item. I don't know how I'd work around this. I don't like it. I mean, if you have a very empty inventory and you only had arrows on one side, but if we've got a good bow with arrows on both sides... Ugh. I know the sun's up, I'm gonna melt. It's the worst. Snow boss fight at the end of the last run was hilarious. Thanks, Drazus. this. Thanks. I did screw it up badly, but I went back and fought it correctly. <coughs> it's always the conductivity. 
It's always me and the silly things that are not meant to be linked when they're linked and... Ugh. Yeah. Mistakes were made. Actually, yeah, I know what I could do to, feel bit, um, to increase this damage of this run. It would be an arrow right here. Facing left. And then I'd be shooting six arrows per turn with Hawkeye's bow. With nine damage, eight... Well, it'd be a little bit less. It'd be eight... Seven damage? Eight damage, eight damage, seven. And then this would be four plus the six burn. This would be twelve plus the... S no, it'd just be twelve. And then whatever's in the middle will be the last arrow. Yes, stupid mouse would... The cheese! The cheese. I'll do one quick couple of couple of battles in endless mode, just because I want to see if I can get one more arrow. But we are going to finish up soon, chat, so I can get some sleep. But I would like to find one more arrow somehow. Rage to a melee weapon. You can't do that. That's unfortunate. Rage on a melee weapon would be disgusting. No, you're only offering me luck. Ah, uh, I don't want luck. Maybe. Thank you. Give me an arrow. Nope, that's a spiked helmet. There's no shop? Uh, let's give you the gem. Jason Kirk says it destroyed. Well, I didn't really need that, but thanks, buddy. Thanks. You're too kind. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Where's my shop? I don't see a shop. I don't see any arrows. some damage. Man, that's rare. It does seem like the bow is the most glass cannony of all the builds. The mage one seems to be the most complex. And the bow seems to be the most glass cannony for sure. Cool flame axe. Gonna have to sell that. Yes. And an arrow, that's what I was looking for. And that completes the build. This does four damage, that kind of sucks though. Sheesh, I'm not gonna lie, that does suck. Oh, uh, well, I wish I had a small arrow, that would make a little bit more difference, I think. Fresh. Yeah. I could I could add something to that. Maybe a poison burn region. No. I mean if I put haste on not haste on it, uh rage. Rage would be really good. In that previous level. Uh it's always the one you don't want. And it's always the one you want, in the wrong positions. 1,200, oh my goodness. Chat, we may lose. Oh god, we lose. 
But, 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 wait, chat, we could also win. Because I have the rogue's mask. I tell you, chat, rage is always my counter. Look at that, he's just stacking it. I hate the chicken. I hate the chicken so much, but luckily... As long as he doesn't attack twice a turn... And it can be used once for combat, the mask. Chat, it was good knowing you. The poor... The poor counter to this build. So, I think the thing you have to stock up on this build is uh, the cleansing potions. Because, uh... Otherwise, that happens. Yikes. Freaking chicken, man. Freaking chicken. Oh, well. We did what we could. And we did pretty good. Totally jumped. Like, two times 100 damage, man. That's hard to, hard to defend against. Even with my spikes build, that would have been a bit tricky. But, but, hey, we did what we did today. We succeeded in what we wanted to do, which was we checked out the mechanical person, the mechanical teddy bear, and we made it into a magic build that slapped. We checked out a ranged build. I mean, it took us a couple tries, but we eventually got a decent ranged build. That, that was a decent ranged build, I'll tell you. The only thing that would make that range build better is if, instead of putting damage on every single arrow, I put rage on every single arrow. And then that would make it impossible to die to the chicken, because I would stack rage better than he would. So if I had six arrows with six stacks of rage, plus the two, with all of that crazy energy, because those energies made it really strong, yeah, that would be disgusting. That would be very disgusting. But I didn't think about that when I was doing the build. I was like, oh yay, free damage. Didn't think about it for a second. And also, don't think we had the opportunity early on to get rage. I don't think we did. I could be incorrect. Anyways, regardless. That was lots of fun. I really enjoy this game. And if you guys love Slay the Spire, uh, Monster Train, this game is in that alley and I have really enjoyed playing it. And hope you guys enjoyed watching it. There is so many cool builds to play around with in this game. So many cool weapons. Playing with consumables, whatever the heck you want. I highly recommend it. Anyways, I'll send you guys out with a raid as per usual. Thank you guys for hanging out. Uh, it is still 6 o'clock in the morning, so I, should, I do need some sleep. But... Uh, <laughs> Hope you guys have a great rest of your night, great rest of your day, whatever time it is for you guys. I think it is getting close to night time for you guys. So you guys heading to bed as well, so great. We're all heading to bed. And uh, raid time for some extra snowballs and supporting the community. And uh, 2105. Oh, that's not bad. It's not bad. Could be worse. There we go. I think that is the right way to spell that. Yes, that is. I should start. I should skip sleep and start right away with the Sunday stream. Oh dear God, <laughs> you guys are ruthless, brutal chat, completely brutal. But thank you, Bavarian, regardless. <laughs> oh dear. Well, I hope to see you guys for the stream uh, tonight in my time which is in 14 hours. But uh, I will be sleeping for half the day and then having to do a bit of editing as well. I'm getting close to finishing the video, so that would be really nice to get done sometime soon. But I hope you guys are keen for some cell swords, and uh, if I don't see you then, have a wonderful week ahead. Enjoy the raid, and uh, thanks again for coming out. Have a good one, guys. See yous.